Champions of the Realms, Week 7, Top 8. Holy cow. It is getting down to the wire. You know, we got one more week coming up this Wednesday going down twitch.tv slash caboose. It's going to be insane. We're going to get one final qualifier into the top eight finale that's going down October 30th. There's $3,000 in the prize pot for the top eight finale. It's going to be insanity. Now, let me tell you guys just to refresh your memory on who's in this top eight finale so far. We got Saucy Fingers, who played Joker in week one. We got Gurr, who played Geras in week two. Averk with a crazy Scorpion play in week three. Ambu get Rec qualifying for week four. Twixy qualifying for week five. Samij qualifying for week six. And you're gonna find out who qualifies for this top eight here. Anyways, again, I want to say thank you so much for all the love and support for the Champions of the Realm series. I cannot wait for what's to come for Mortal Kombat 11. You know, we got Ultimate Mortal Kombat literally right around the corner. Three more characters joining the roster. It's gonna get crazy. Again, if you enjoy this content, do me a huge favor. Make sure you like and subscribe and enjoy Champions of the Realms Week 7 Top 8. Welcome everybody, ladies and gentlemen, it is time, week seven of Champions of the Realms Top 8 is going down tonight. As always, we gotta give a huge shout out to the kind folks at Console Gaming League for the thousand dollars that they've contributed to this tournament for this prize pool, and as well for the hundred and fifty dollars that they're giving away each and every week. That's one of the things that the players today are going to be battling for, as well as the seventh spot at the top eight finale that'll be taking place on cgl's channel later this month destroyer how you doing i'm doing great caboose you know we got week seven top eight going down right now the competition yep. is stacked as ever the rain trailer was dropped Ooh. about a day ago and rain looks crazy <laughs> i want to see in the chat right now your thoughts on rain if he looks cool or not caboose how you feel about rain bro dude dude Dude, those combos look so sick. He he looks like he's got like three or four moves that can pop you up, or at least that give you the opportunity to get a full combo out of, which I'm really excited about. He had the rain kick. He had like a version of the weather ball, the lightning, which launched them up in the air. This other move where he like catches you in midair. It's like an anti-air type thing. I don't know. He's got some sick looking moves. I hope it's not one of those situations where the trailer's just making it look too good to be true. <laughs> I don't think it is. But one thing I think we can all unanimously agree on, because they just showed it earlier today, his gear and his skins, bro. Oh my God, he's going to look so sick. Everything looks phenomenal, man. You know, the, the character came fully equipped. That's right. They did show the, the little trailer sh uh, showcasing the, the, the gear. gear and the, yeah. the faceless, man. Faceless, he looks... It looks insane. With combat and Kerbalicious, so it's going to get interesting. But here we go now. Game number one about to go underway between combat and down baton, a.k.a. Blizzard. This is I sick. see the Night King. Oh, I yeah. see the Night King, Bro. and I see Team Wolf Johnny. Look, down baton definitely put in some work uh, on Wednesday because, you know, from the beginning, I think we had his first match streamed. He almost yep. lost against Furious Pillow on a crazy 2-2 yep. last hit, last everything set. And he's here in the top eight winner side for some redemption. Here we go. Starting things off, combat. And a couple of hits in. But Ice Ball, nice anti-air immediately for combat. 
ready to go. Week seven, Champions of the Realms. Such a key week for all the competitors here as this is the second to last spot to qualify for that top eight finale and get a piece of that near $3,000 prize pool or a chance at a piece of that prize pool. It's gonna be nuts. Nice throw there. <laughs> All right, he's gonna throw the ice ball. Combat has a very good life lead here. Taking full control of this set, gonna catch him with a crazy combo conversion. Wow, 30%. Blizzard has not had a chance this entire round, Caboose. What the wow. fuck? Wow, clearly in the time that Combat Killer was absent from competing, hasn't really done much in terms of the level of skill as he's still on his A game here. But that's gonna be a big whip punish now from Blizzard. Gonna get the side switch. That was nasty. Carry with the 27 Tries to get him with the overhead. What a oh, punish we're witnessing ready. here. He's gonna launch him. He puts him in the corner. The grab, the throw escape. Oh, that was so ballsy from Down Baton, aka Blizzard, going for the load directly into the, the shoulder bash. You know, if it was blocked, that would have been a punish. Nice throw and escape fail there. It doesn't spell danger in terms of a crushing blow. But you can clearly see that Blizzard was trying to attack those throws. And Blizzard's doing a really good job, even if there was an escape fail, at reacting at the throws, but it's not gonna be enough. Combat gonna get the first game. Very good stuff here, man. Combat Killer showing full dominant force as he plays with his Johnny Cage action figure like a two-year-old idiot. You know, I'm really surprised that they didn't release that exact figurine in real life. Feels like a missed marketing opportunity, you know? I mean, it, it really does, but I, I guess they figured it wasn't worth it. They figured it wasn't worth it, Caboose. They said, you know, if we release this action Sub figure, this thing might come to life Johnny and Cage. be on some fucking Chucky shit. <laughs> you know? They didn't want to take Nobody that risk. Nobody wants that. They didn't yeah, want to take course. that risk. No liability yeah. on their part now. You're going to have a miniature Johnny Cage going all over the place with a kitchen knife just stabbing innocent people. You want that, Caboose? I want him shadow kicking everybody. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Just breaking people's toes. I'll take that uh, one. Tiny little Johnny action figure running around. <laughs> Breaking people's bags. <laughs> you got to update the score there, I think. No, I'm not updating anything, all right? <laughs> <laughs> A good start from combat, though. Nice tech. Wow, Blizzard is, is really consistent with the tech throws. He's ready. The forward four connects. Good wake up, though. Combat now. Gonna try and get on the offense. This is pretty good. Blizzard, he's gonna get a grab. I, I, I think this is the, 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 this is what he needs in this set, you know? He needs a little bit of momentum because that's all Sub-Zero really needs in the game, actually. Once he gets that momentum, he can mix you up with a bunch of 50-50s, the staggers, and just give you the complete package. Hold on, Combat Killer, throw, though. I think I've seen Combat land in a minute. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the down bow. He went for the overhead. No punish! Okay, what is happening? Oh, no, like oh my five, god. Five drop punishes back to back. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing here. That was brutal. Oh, that's gonna be, oh my god, not a punish again? That's it, I'm ending the stream. Maybe we should. With not a lot of time left on the clock there, that was gonna be next to impossible, but Blizzard not gonna be able to make anything happen. Combat got another round there. Dude, you got the tree in the right side of the screen. He, he said, what a punish! <laughs> And all the other trees are talking amongst each other. They say, you didn't punish? You didn't punish? No punish? No, you didn't punish? <laughs> nice tech. Okay, the Amplified Ice Ball gets through that time. Now Blizzard going to be able to get a full combo off of it. A wake up roll. Those switches sides. Oh my god, this is abusive right now. He is just going to town here. What is the Blizzard King going to do? He tried to backdash, but Combat just went right in there and grabbed him. Wow. The low connects, no defensive meter. This potentially could spell the end of the game with the shadow kick. Oh, a wake up attempt. Okay, down four, jump in, and the down one will do it. Combat takes game number two, very convincingly so. It's very tough. He's Combat's a literal brick wall right now for Blizzard, and somehow he's gonna have to find a sledgehammer to knock this thing down if he wants to get some hits in and potentially get around because so far, this has been the combat show.
I mean, man, when, when you see a player like Combat, I start getting uh, flashbacks of Final Combat, you know? This is one of those players that are at that level. This is the, one of the best of the best. Even if he no took a little break it. in Mortal Kombat 11, that don't mean shit. Because he's going to show you right now that he can hop right back on this game whenever he wants, and he could dish out that ham and cheese sandwich. No doubt. I mean, way back in, I believe it was July, uh, June or July, we had run a custom combat tournament where it was all custom variations with Northern Arena. And Combat actually beat Sonic to qualify for that tournament. So clearly, and although although that isn't like the greatest tell on skill because it's it's custom variations, there's a lot of factors that goes into that. Yeah. But clearly Combat is here to play. Clearly he needs to be in the conversation of some of the best to compete in MK11. And he's putting that on full display right now in Champions of the Realm. Okay, the down poke. Finally, he's gonna open him up with the low, but no confirm into the ice ball. I agree with it. I mean, Blizzard's trying to play as safe as possible against a player like Combat. You don't really want to overextend and hang yourself. Oh man, here goes Combat, man. He's getting his shit started here. What a back two from down baton. Gonna tag him with the overhead. Keep it it's in safe. Overhead. I think this is oh, the switch to Avalanche. Yeah, yeah. I think this is what he needed. This is the answer here. He's got access to safe 50 50s. You know, yeah. he, he can do some dirty shit. Wow, what a combo. Beautiful. Get off of me. He goes right back in with the pressure. The backdash. Blizzard is looking for a moment of destruction here. Oh, how many grab techs is Blizzard gonna uh, hit him with, bro? He's been so consistent with that. That's the most consistent I've ever seen anybody tech grabs. Cuts the down one, looking for the low. Ooh, Combat, I believe, was looking for the flawless block on the creeping ice. Combat in Fatal Blow territory has the opportunity to close this out. Gonna go for the Fatal Blow cancel, though. Oh, this is it! Get the He's damage around. Around. And this should be the round into the fatal blow i don't think he had a wasted to tell you the truth but he wanted to guarantee that meter? moment the combat have defensive meter no i don't think so if he didn't have defensive meter did. then he i believe he, he could oh he did no so, he yeah did. He did. honestly then i think the Maybe fatal blow was the best decision for him to make wait did he have defensive meter he did right i don't he know did. if he did, did he, he did he did he had did defensive he? meter right i don't know i don't i, I don't think he had defensive meter maybe he didn't <laughs> Oh, the, the point that I was trying to make is it looks like the Fatal Blow was the best decision for Blizzard to make. But now he's stuck in the corner. Had to use the breakaway. Speaking of the Fatal him up. Or lack thereof. Johnny Cage right now. Combat with a near flawless. Hold on. Down baton. Gonna put him in the corner. Oh, try to grab him, but nothing was there. Blizzard can open him up with the overhead into the avalanche oh. bullshit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, this potentially could be the end of the round. Combat gonna make it so match point now for Combat as he goes full Ninja Mime. Listen, I would like this set to go, you know, to the last extent here. Hopefully, Blizzard's gonna be able to make a comeback. Combat has him in the corner, just going to town here. Drop the combo a little bit. Oh, nice. bro. Right now, Combat is in full control. A jump in attempt, the low connects, but he commits to the full string rather than getting the ice ball out. There we go! What a whip punish from nice. Blizzard! Absolutely possible. Lots of potential for a comeback here with the think, ice ball. I think he has a crushing blow, low slide, ready for duty too. Did he get three amplification? Yeah. Or was that the second? This is it, he's got three of them loaded. Okay. Right there. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I'm surprised Combat actually didn't break away off that slide. Oh, finish it! Oh my god! Oh! The down oh, one trait! Oh shit! And the down four into the slide. Beautiful stuff there from Down Baton, and we're, uh, we got ourselves a set. Ladies and gentlemen. He's here, he's here. Down Baton is awake. You know? He's awake and he's ready to play. The Blizzard King, straight from Game of Thrones, gonna come through the Mortal Kombat 11 universe. Looking more badass than ever before. Is Blizzard no about gonna be able to make this happen, Caboose? Well, he's sure he's certainly shown that it's possible. That that the man can bleed, you know. Combat is not a cyborg. We can confirm. I know, right? Combat came in here like fucking Xerxes from 300. 
He's in. <laughs> I am a demigod. I cannot bleed. You cannot make me bleed. And then Blizzard took that game. He said, oh, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Oh, my God. That's what happened. I think that's exactly what happened, yeah. That is what happened. You may have broken it down. But okay, here we go. Game number four now. Very key. Can Blizzard ride this momentum? Where's combat going to answer? The low. Tossing the interactables. Oh, raid there on the back. Three. Nice throw. I, I respect the reads he's making on those ice balls. He's trying to catch a combat killer on the advance, you know? Oh, he gets opened up with the low. This is bad. Blizzard is falling apart here as combat killer just dishes out a can of whoop ass. He had the flawless block, but he didn't answer with nothing. Okay, at least he's got a side switch now. This is potential. Oh, no. Right the way there, he was looking for a got punish away. on the jump in. This is going to be impossible yet. Yeah, the chip out now. Match point scenario once again for combat. Although we saw this in the last game, and Blizzard was able to turn things around. Can he do it again? All right, Blizzard. Going to get opened up again with the low. Combat killer is just timing these attacks so perfectly, man. It's opening him up. Wow! The chase down from Combat Killer is insane! Wow, we have switched. We've gone from one side of the screen to the other. Just on chip damage. The would-be Ice Clone comes out for the first time. He did make the read on it, but for some reason, it was just a bit too slow for the situation. Wait, what did you say? He made the read on the on the Ghetto Roll with the Ice but, Clone. But it was what? Too slow. <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch. Uh oh, no, and this looks like it's going to be it so long as combat converts and convert you will as he takes that set oh three to god. one. Oh. oh my god. Yo, what was that? What was that savageness? Hold on, we got no change the scene. Change way. the scene. Yo, 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 security, change the scene. Change the scene. It's this. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. Oh, man. Yo! <laughs> change the scene. The fuck? Oh my god. They didn't change it. They didn't just, change what just it. happened, bro? So the good news is for Blizzard is that he was on the winner's side, so a second chance opportunity is provided is to him as he's now going to be sent to losers. But a tough, tough loss indeed, and a good win there from Combat. Once again, clearly showing that not much has changed since last we saw him compete. No. You are you are totally right about that, man. Uh, combat. Feel free to shoot me an invite, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Let me uh, see what the hell. All right. I don't know how to spell biohazard. Did I? I, I hope you didn't see how I just spelled that. I'm gonna look at the stream right now. No. Oh hey, wait, nobody no, can see it. it. I missed it then. We got biohazard <laughs> versus. So sick, Nash fan, for the next match on the winner's side. This is going to be a good one. So sick, Nash fan. I feel this guy is super slept on, man. Every tournament he signs up for, he always does a great job. And he has a wide variety of characters he plays with at a super high fucking level, too. So it's going to be sick to see yeah. if he's going to be able to take out Biohazard. And also, just to note, so sick Nash fan did elim uh he sent Honeybee to the losers in week seven pool play. So if Bio ends up beating So sick Nash fan, it'll kind of be like oh, what vengeance. A story line. It'll be like, you know, he, he avenged his brother. What a storyline. Oh yeah, invites have been sent. Okay, yeah, let's hopefully everyone can connect this time. That would be great. Yeah, yeah, man. I don't know what the hell is going on with your connection sometimes, bro, but <laughs> I'm about to donate you a new high-speed optic cable for the internet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'll take it. All right. It'll be there next Tuesday. <laughs> it's going to it's gonna be behind the three cartons of X-Milk I send you, all right? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting on that package. You got to give me the tracking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. All right, well, you're able to connect. Oh, you, I'm you, in. You yeah. were you were the only one that was able to connect. Apparently, hold on. 
You sent the invites for everyone, though. Yes, I did. I mean, ho- yeah. hopefully everybody exactly. remembers the top eight was today because... That uh, would be great. I know. Could you imagine you, you work your ass off to get to this moment and then you, like, <laughs> oversleep or you forget about it and then you wake up, the party's over. You're like, man, you, you hit me up. You go, oh, destroy. Whatever happened to that top eight? And I'm just there. I, I FaceTime you at that point. I'm like, you missed it, you son of a bitch. You missed it. I want this exact scenario to happen. Whoa, Is, uh, Magic uh, Team with the raid. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, let me go ahead and invite so Sick Nash fan again. Are we really going to have connection issues this whole day? Dude. I don't know what the hell is it, what the issue is. I don't know what's going on either. Maybe he uh, didn't accept the invite. I'll find out in a second. Let me um, try to contact him through Twitter. No, but speaking of connection issues, man, I think week seven pulls. Okay, he's in here. Week seven okay, pulls takes the cake. <laughs> like I was oh, this yeah. close to saying fuck it to every all of you and just dipping. But I stuck it through. We <laughs> stuck it through, and we did that yeah, shit. Yeah, that we, was that was week tough. seven pulls that was, was uh that was a challenge on its own. <laughs> that was that was our top eight right there. Yeah, that was tough just because of the like the situation. PlayStation, I don't know what the hell they were doing that day, but here we go. We got our competitors here. Bio gonna be rocking Baraka, Nashran with the Sindel. Don't you usually call Baraka Barokus? Barokus, yeah, that's, that's one of them. <laughs> that Baraka was Barokus in the beta. I remember when they first saw Baraka, they're like, "What the fuck? <laughs> this character's hitting for no, remember fifty percent every combo. What, what is this?" Remember in the beta, where as long as you started your combo with a punish, every crushing blow that required a punish could be activated in one combo. I actually and like you that, bro. You literally get I, like three or four crushing blows. No, I actually, I, I fucked with that because, I, it, it, you know, it led for those crazy explosive moments. I mean, as long as you yeah. scale the crushing blows, like they should have left it just like that. So people, if they wanted to go crazy for like a finishing brutality, you know, they can end it with fucking four crushing blows. Yeah, that could have been nuts. It'll be super nuts. Ed Boone, you watching? Because make it happen. Start of this match right now. Nashman in control. Keeping Biohazard at bay with the Sindel. Playing almost a zoning game, which you don't expect to see from Sindel. Oh, my God. I don't know why this uh, command grab from Baraka is so savage. But wait a minute. The scream crushing blow going to activate. That's going to be a GG's. So sick, Nashman the taking round. the first round. Round two, fight. Nice amplified low projectile, and I think an input error there from Biohazard on the breakaway. Very good stuff here. And notice, man, Bio is playing super patient here. He doesn't want to overextend anything against a character like Sindel. I feel Sindel, bro, her whole game plan is just to reel you in and just screw yourself over, you know? she Sindel's like, she's going out for fishing when she goes to play Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, good yeah, forward four. Yeah, yeah. Into the command grab, the snap straight into the tits. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just speaking what I see, all right? And that's what's happening there. Look at where he's stabbing. Look where he's stabbing, look where he's stabbing bro. Okay. This is Baraka, and needs to point those blades in a different spot. Okay, the forward four. Both of these, yo, it's crazy because this is the battle of the forward fours. Sindel has a stupid ass forward four, and Baraka, Barokus, has a stupid ass forward four. Champions of the forward fours? This, right, this fight especially is champions of the forward four. Oh, nice punish off the jump in there from Biohazard. Catches the sweep. Whoa! Oh, avoids the wake up. What was Another that? sweep connect. I'm really not sure what's happening right now, but Biohazard is just chipping away. Should be able to close this out with that corner combo. Indeed, he will. And that's game number one going to Biohazard. Dude, Bio has way too much tech. This man done down forward through a up three from Sindel, a mid up three. How is that possible? Somebody explain. You find Somebody a way. explain right now. 
Some, where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm sorry, but Mayo, you got to change the skin, bro. The skin is nasty. It's disgusting. Baraka has some of the most badass skins in the game, and this man decides to go for the fucking tarantula. Baraka, Cinder. I'm ending the stream. Baraka. How are you not going to rock the, the Killer Croc skin? No, you know what? Actually, I, I take it back. It makes sense because Bio is Honeybee's brother. So, you know, I feel like if he gets access to any insect skin, he's going to mm. apply it immediately. You feel me? You think he's honoring his brother with this skin? He's honoring his brother with this skin and also trying to get the vengeance because Sozik Nashvan did send Honeybee to losers in pool play. So let's see if Biohazard is going to be able to fulfill the ultimate comeback experience for Sozik Nashvan. Yep. Okay, forward four. Yeah, forward four again, yeah. yeah. All right, I think Biohazard is looking for an opportunity to go with the forward four. No, he goes with the back two. Hold on. So Sig Nash, man, he catches a grab. What are we going to see, a forward four? Are we going to see a forward four, Caboose? Forward four? Let's see in one second. We're about to find out. Holographic Baraka, he knows a forward four is about to happen. He knows. Oh! Oh, the unbreakable, unblockable damage. And Nashvan gets around. Again, playing this zoning game with Sindel, which is weird, but it's working. Forward four. Yeah. Okay, he goes with the jump in into the titty stab. That is just savagery right there. Another titty stab. Sindel cannot endure this much longer. He's gonna have to fight back here. So sick, Nash fan, with the st double standing fours. No forward fours here, buddy. I thought we were just gonna see a bunch of forward fours, but it turns that's not the case. Oh, nicely done. There's a forward four for you. Oh, I like those forward fours a lot. <laughs> I like them a lot. They call, you, they call you Jimmy forward fours? They call me Johnny forward four. Nice throw from Nash fan, trying to close this game out and tie up this set. Tosses the Tarkatan, amplified projectile. Doesn't land, but the forward four <laughs> will do it. And we're all tied up. He got him with the forward four at the end. You know why? Because he knew we were watching. He knew we were excited about the forward four. Even Sindel started laughing at the outro there. You saw that shit? She said, <laughs> yeah, <she's> like, <laughs> forward four. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if they're going to go into game number three with the forward fours. I would love to see just... No I want to see a whole match <laughs> where it's nothing but forward fours. <laughs> they're going to go into game number three. They're going to look down at the controller and everything's going to be forward four. They're going to say, what? <laughs> they say, what happened? Their triangle, square, and X button are just going to fade away. And it's going no to be nothing but circle. <laughs> <laughs> Their fucking D-pad is all gonna be right, right and left, depending which which direction they're looking. Yeah, at. yeah, no, no up and down on the D-pad. It's right and left. <laughs> they got, they can only move forward. Four. Oh, misses the Kano ball at the start. No punish on that though. There's an air Kano ball. Does Kano have a good forward four? I think so. Is that the one where he? Is it a forward three or a forward four where he jumps? Like he rolls towards you. The overhead. Oh, the low. No, 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 no. Yeah. I don't know, chat. What is it? Is it forward four? Oh, it's forward four is his overhead. There's a <laughs> forward four, yeah. Oh, good jump, knocking him out of the air. You know, once Biohazard pulls out the Kano, this is when shit gets serious. Once he pulls out the forward four, then it's over. Oh, yeah. Whoa, the nice. Flawless block. Flawless block. Is he going to go with the forward four? No, he went for it. Into the command grab, and that's going to be the round. I mean, Sindel must be relieved at that Baraka matchup because those command grabs were doing a lot of damage to her. <laughs> Flawless block there on the projectile. Nicely done. A big punish here off the amplified Kano ball. Standing four. 
crazy oh, back and forth we're having, but there's the punish with the scream. Gonna get the extra scream in for the damage into restand. Oh my god, back the whip punish, bro. This is punish. bad. That's potentially what the round, round. yes indeed. What a what a steamroll from So Signatran right there. Biohazard. Gonna go with the low attack. He's going with the roly poly oldies. Let's see. If so Signatran can do something here. I feel like this this round this match kind of determines everything, man. Whoever gets up 2-1 is gonna be sitting pretty. Dude, what a flawless block, man. Block. And that just goes to oh, show so no. Nash fans delivering the same treatment Biohazard's applying here with those flawless block up twos. Good grab. Nice throw. He's gonna get some momentum Still here. Winning. Especially with the fatal blow. There is a lot of potential for comeback. Oh no, you cannot oh, no, get clipped by that. And a command grab will do it. Biohazard now goes up 2-1 in this set. Do we see a character switch from Nashman? Maybe. Because I know he, he has a lot of characters. He does have a Devora, but I wouldn't see him making that switch just for the fact that this is Biohazard, you know? He's got Honeybee as a brother, and the fact that Honeybee plays Devora kind of religiously, it'd be a tough matchup to, uh, to go up against with the knowledge that Biohazard has on Devora. But we'll see what Sosik yeah. fan does. He's a well-trained player. This guy is definitely keeping things under control here. It's that Kano, man. At the end of the day, when, when Bio's back is against the wall, he goes right to that Kano. And that Kano, is, it's just... It, I think it is his best character. But here we go now. Key match in game number four. Especially on the winner's side, you do not want to be getting sent to losers. But the winner of this moves on to face off against Combat in the winner's final. That's scary. So, I mean... Either, either it be Nash fan or Bio facing off against combat, that set will end up being extremely high. Round one, oh, the plus frames. He's going to go for the full string. That is where the conditioning starts. Bio is trying to get that started early on. Just in case Sosig Nash fan does take this game, you know, he's going to have a nice little mind game plan going on there. The jump in, going to open him up with the low. Bio just attacking him with everything he's got. Oh my god! Wow, the throw right now. This is this is a abuse. And the grab tech even more crazy than what I thought was gonna go on. The projectile gonna Pop knock him out of the air. Yup. There you go. Oh no. Match, Match point. point now for Bio. Ooh, very oh, nice. nice flawless block. Gonna open him up again. A lot of damage on the table here. Biohazard going absolutely ape shit on so sick Nash fans. Wow, what a read on the enemy AC 130! Kicks him right out of the air. No conversion. Oh shit, I gotta get out of here. The boots are dropping bombs. This is looking very tough for Nash fan. Gets caught by that forward four. And the Kano ball. She's dead. <laughs> Biohazard will move on in that set, taking it three to one. Now gonna go to the winner's final to face off against Combat. Man, you know, Kano just Kano ball through her and he said, a job's a job, bitch. He says, oh. sorry, mate. Oh. Job's a job. A job's a job. Bitch. Yo, yo, yo. Kano. Noise, spin attacker. Settle down, Kano. He's getting a little. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put that away. He's peeing all over the what place, is... Caboose. Oh, my He's God. He's peeing all over the place, Caboose. Again? Oh, my God. We just, we just got new carpeting. God, man. <laughs> We're going to have to change up the studio in a second if this keeps going down like that, honestly. Get him a bucket or something, man. Next match, Jeez. we got Deadly Rebel versus Kerbalicious. This is a juicy one. And I'm going to have to say it how it is. I mean, I want to be honest with you guys, but Deadly Rebel getting into this top eight. Now, this is nothing against Deadly Rebel because it's not his fault, but he yeah. had to fight off against Love Thoughts 
in the loser side um, of top 16 to get into this top eight. But unfortunately, Love Thoughts had to DQ himself in such a crucial match. You know, we're in oh. week we're in week number seven. He had to DQ himself because he had to go to work. And Deadly Rebel kind of got in here with the freebie. He got a lucky buy. And, you know, hopefully... I mean, you never know. You never know what could have gone down between him and Love Thoughts, No, right? of course. I'm not saying Deadly Rebel would have lost, but I'm just saying he he got a lucky buy. He got the buy. guaranteed buy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 He got that lucky guarantee get into the top eight. So hopefully Deadly Rebel makes great use of this, you know? He didn't have to deal with that stress getting into top eight, so he got yep. that, that free entrance in here. Hopefully he can make great use of it and yep. make a good run because remember, guys, only top one is going to benefit in this tournament. I mean, top three gets paid, but top one is getting into the money. And I'm talking $3,000 type of money. Yep. Yep. It's a huge prize pool, which, by the way, we got to give a huge thanks to all the kind folks who have donated to the match arena. We really, really appreciate that. You guys have created a ton of hype for this tournament. You guys have increased that prize pool to get near $3,000, which is insane. Thank you very much. If you want to add to the prize pool, if you'd be so kind, if you'd be so inclined, you can hit exclamation point match arena in Destroyer's chat, and the link will be provided for you by Nightbot. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, here we go. Deadly Rebel and Kerbalicious in the lobby. You know, I think Deadly Rebel said in your chat, he's like, I was destined to face a, a, a he was, cabal. He was desperate to face a cabal? Destined. Who said that? He's destined. Who said but he's not going to face a cabal. Wait. Nah, he's got to pull out cabal. I mean, this is Kerbalicious. Why, why Why? would he not pull out cabal? I was I was confused. Look, I was. Kerbo is on another level right now. This guy is trying to play a different type of mind games. Starting at the character select screen. You feel mm. me? Deadly Rebel mm. right now was twisting and turning his head like it was, it was Nightmare Before Christmas. This is going to be well, a good let's one. let's see how this goes. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Can, can, can we get a wall of two slows and got the spins in the chat, please? I want to see two slow. I want to see got the spins. I want to see you're hooked. And what's the other one? Mama Juana. Um, that one. Yeah. Round one. Fight. I don't know, man. Kabbalan. Why did I... How could I not think of Kabbalan? The best one. Oh, no, wait. You, you are right about that. I totally get what you were saying. I was like in another planet when you were saying that he was destined to face Cabal because he dodged the bullet, you know, on yeah. the top 16. So that is funny the way uh, things worked out here for Deadly Rebel. Sometimes the universe just makes things happen. It's fate. Oh, yeah. Nice bro. Kerbalicious, man. He's getting started off. <laughs> He's looking pretty Kerbalicious. Oh, the back one confirmed? How the hell did Deadly Rebel know that was gonna work? That was some godlike reads right there. He's gonna go with the forward 2 2, keeping it safe with the. What is it called? The mace. Oh, no, whip punish. This is looking like oh, Deadly Rebel here. Oh, he drops the combo. Gotta finish it here. Oh, and the block on the Nomad Dash will allow that to happen. He says, too slow. <laughs> Okay, collective. Wait, no, you gotta do it. What's the collective voice? Do it. Too slow. I mean, no. There it is. I don't know. I'm getting off. How do you want collective voice? Is collective. <laughs> you want some more collector? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that collective is spot on. Nice Nomad Dash punish there from Turbo. He said too slow. Is it? It's too one slow. One. Is it? You guess too slow. You told me it's just someone that's just too slow. Yeah, <laughs> the air there. Hold on. Yeah, the Rebel has an opportunity here. Gets the wake up up too. Oh my God. Oh my God. He sits oh. him down. This is too crazy. What is Kerbalish is gonna? He's not. Oh no. He's not done yet. Oh my God. The throw whiffed, and that'll be a down one to get the round Kerbo by the skin of his teeth. Fart. Yeah, he didn't do that one. It's the kid. He didn't do that one. Yeah, he didn't do that one. Precious soul. 
get the fuck off my chair. <laughs> Nice setup there with the damage over time. Turbo was taking those hits. Oh, try to get the down to anti-air. Oh, armor breaker. That's gonna hurt quite a bit. A free 30% for Kerbalicious, who now has a combo, and this could be the end of the game. Indeed, it will be. Rip him in half. The collector's laying there looking in the sky right now. He said, what happened to my torso? <laughs> Unbelievable Kerbalicious drawing first blood in this winner side top eight. Wait, is this winner side top eight or are we in losers? Wait, can you hear that? We're in losers. What? Hold on. Can you hear that? No. Oh, too slow. Oh, too slow. What the hell? Did you hear that? <laughs> I had to lower the music. I didn't hear Who it. Who was that? What was that? Um, I, I don't know what just happened. Is Cabal in your room? He, he might have just ran by. There's really no way for me to know. You can tell by the smell, bro. You're going to smell some sweaty ball sack if Cabal entered your room. Well, you never been in my room now. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, he hits him with the forward three. Gonna open him up with the ball. Uh. He's gonna put the flames on the ground. Dude, I was literally about to call Bola ball ball sack. <laughs> Too slow. That would have been a GG's. And Boo would have canceled call us. That, call it that for now. <laughs> no, man, Paolo's gonna, he's gonna end the stream. Okay, really okay, good okay, stuff okay. here. He's gonna hit him with the vial. Dude, this pressure from oh, Deadly nice. Rebel is looking phenomenal. It's looking great. Gotta close out this round though. You do not want to give Kerbalicious the opportunity to get a turn. And it looks like Deadly Rebel will not allow that opportunity. Getting a nice little combo in there with the down two. Taking a round. Very good stuff. Okay. Deadly Rebel goes with the down four. Nothing's there though. Oh, is gonna be a good opening, but the immediate breakaway from Kerbalicious. He tried to fish out the, the standing three, two crushing blow, but that crushing blow sucks so much ass, bro. I hate, I hate it. I hate that crushing blow from Collector. Standing three, two. It needs a buff. It needs is a buff. Is that the one where the, the second hit is crushed? Yeah. Oh, very good conversion. Open him up here. Oh, good. Very good bola. And he has no breakaway. Kerbal had to deal with all of that, even the chip. This is looking to be the end of the game. And the raw nomad dash gets blocked. And a brutality of his own. Hold on. We got ourselves a little set. Why is this the goofiest, most random hey, brutality whoa, victory whoa, whoa, pose whoa, whoa, I've ever seen? Whoa, 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 what is this? Respect what is he him. doing? Respect. Well, what is he doing? I think another one. What is he doing? Another one wanted to get you know real clever with it. They wanted to say, hey, let's do both arms doing a different animation to give a little more character. I don't know. It does look stupid as hell though. I gotta agree. Just why is he like? What is he supposed? Like, is he supposed to be playing the maracas in his hand? Like, he's happy. What's happening? He's happy. He won. I don't think I've ever in my life. In, in a moment of happiness, put my hands up in the air and shake them around like that. Ever. In my life. As a matter of fact, I'm calling Ed Boon. <laughs> Guys, Ultimate Mortal, yeah. Ultimate Mortal Kombat's gonna drop and instead of yeah. him waving his arms like that, Caboose is gonna push Collector out of the way. Get that shit out of the game, oh, Ed. shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. I, Ed, my, my bad. No, that's my bad. That's my... What do you mean I'm banned? Wait. What do you... Hello? He just hung up on me. Wow. He just hung up on me. I don't even think I want to be associated with Caboose after that one. That's crazy. <laughs> A lot of projectiles right now from Kerbalicious. And he... Wait, why didn't that... Why didn't that lock him up? The bola, he didn't amplify. No, but the bola has a special effect where it trades with a projectile. It, it does its capture thing, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, really. But I guess uh, it just didn't work out there. 
Are you positive? Dude, I am positive. I am positive. I think you're lying. No, chat, tell Caboose that the bola can do its thing if the thing does its thing. Oh my god, raw nomad dash. He's gonna go for the combo launcher. This is big. He drops it. Why would you drop a oh, combo this is in the huge in a for like Deadly Rebel this? now? Gonna get a full combo conversion of his own. And a nice 32% at that. Has Fatal Blow ready. And Amplified Bola into Fatal Blow will do it. He's ducking under all these butt saws here. What is he gonna do? The jump back from Kerbalicious. You know, Deadly Rebels one confirm it's a Fatal Blow away from taking this round. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh no! Oh! I can't watch this. This is brutal. 13 seconds. Oh, he absorbs it! He had the projectile parry! He had the right idea! Increíble. In fucking increíble! Wow, Raw Nomad Dash from Purblish is gonna put him in the right side of the screen. The jump in shutting down the standing two attempted anti-air from Deadly Rebel. You know, if Deadly Rebel caught that standing two, that could have been a potential crushing blow. That could have been the whole difference of this match. But god damn is Kerbo going ham. Okay, okay. Tries to hit him with a vial, but just out of range there. Beautiful forward three. You know, there should have been a freaking stage brutal where you just knock him into the sea of blood. And you just see the character getting lost in the sea of blood. Like, oh, <laughs> there should be more stage brutals in, or stage fatalities in general, I think. Hopefully MK Ultimate brings that uh, to life. That would be nice. Oh, nicely done. The down two deadly rebels still in this. What a back and forth between these competitors, Destroyer. I'm loving this. Final rounds. He goes with the forward three. He knocks him into the ground. Oh my god, I got bars. Yo, check it. <laughs> this is the final round. Deadly oh, Rebel no. just knocked him into the ground. Oh, no. Listen to this crazy sound. Your flawless block oh, there. Oh. Took barely any chip damage after all that. Air projectile. Caught the low. Oh my god. He ducks under. The jump in two. Not gonna work. Oh, gets anti aired. Oh, that's a whiff! Whoa! What a big. Oh, big crushing blow for Kerbo. Gonna get the conversion. Look at the damage. All oh, the damage. Oh, he's dead. And that potentially oh, is dead. going to be it as long as Kerbo converts and he will rip off the torso while he's at it. Slice and dice. Unbelievable, man. Kerbalich is right now going up two to one in this crazy set. You know Deadly Rebel is sitting there scratching his ass, thinking to himself, how the hell am I going to defeat the Coliseum champion? You know, if, if we look at this like a kind of gladiatorial type of thing, Kerbo is fucking, he's a scary son of a bitch to face off against with the titles he's got under his belt. It's quite as simple as this, Destroyer. Tell me. If Kerbo's gonna be Kabbalah, okay, then Deadly Rebel's gotta start collecting. Ooh. Yo, bro, I think you should write the next story from MK12. Am I spitting? No, you should write the next story from MK12. Okay. And I just need you to do me a huge favor. I need you to make Motaro the main character. I will. It'll be Motaro and Bo Raicho. In fact, they'll be the only two characters in the game. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to make Shaolin Monks 2, and it's going to be with Motaro and Boraicho. I'm, re I'm ready for that, bro. I'm ready for that. It's just going to be them two. <laughs> Boraicho's going to be riding Motaro. Wait. It's going to be the co-op. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the co-op experience. <laughs> You're gonna have tag moves where you hop on top of Motaro. Not like that. You ride him horseback. I'm not talking oh, Ram Ranch style. So, so here's what's interesting. Deadly Rebel, on his heels right now, down 2-1 in the set, switches to Frost. Wait, what? Round yeah. Fight. Is this the same match? Did somebody sneak into the King of the Hill? I don't know. I'm really intrigued about this pick. 
I honestly thought that the collector would have worked out if he gave it another go, but if he believes, because Deadly Rebel took a lot of time in the character select menu. He really thought about it. Okay, the head toss freeze did work, but no conversion on the combo. And now Kerbalicious gonna open Deadly Rebel up. Looking for the armor breaker. I mean, I wanna see this guy do some crazy damage here. He's gonna launch him. The down one into the restand. He tries to roll out of there. Oh my god, this could be a comeback situation, okay. I'm telling you, bro. This is set up heavy shit. Okay. Jump three into the... Oh my god, what is this combo? That was nuts. Deadly Rebel. That was nuts. Whoa. He's still alive here. He goes for the zoning. He got to watch out, man. He's got to watch out. He's got a full screen fatal blow available, and he should have oh. used it right there. I think the full screen fatal blow could have saved his ass. Oh could've. my god. It wouldn't have killed, but it definitely could have oh made things interesting. Oh my god. Once Deadly Rebel did get things going, it was pretty interesting what they were doing with this Frost. The only thing is, Kerbo got quite the life lead until that point. So let's see, going into this now, last round, or not last round, but potential final round. This is match points for Kerbalicious. Kerbalicious is avoiding those setups, gets the crushing blow, gonna convert, has the corner. This guarantees it. 39%. Almost 40%. Kerbal. Yeah, one round away from closing Ooh. this out and advancing in Big this throw. loser side bracket. Yeah, Escape that, fail. That, on was that, a, throw. that was a huge throw. He gets one more throw here, and we can see a potential comeback. Oh my god. Oh, the jump back attempt didn't work. Yeah, why did the jump back whiff like that? He gets opened up. No flawless block. You think that's what he was fit? Yeah, that's definitely what he was looking for. Deadly Rebel needs to hit him with the Fatal Blow. Oh my god. And the GG's. air projectile will do it. Kerbalicious going to eliminate Deadly Rebel from the tournament and will be moving on to face off against So Sick Nash Fan, I believe, in the loser side of the bracket. So good stuff from Deadly Rebel. I did like the Frost pick. I liked what they were going for, but unfortunately, Kerbalicious was just able to keep Deadly Rebel at bay. Good stuff with the Cabal. He was Cabalin. Cabalin, Cabalin, Cabalin. Too slow, too slow, too slow, too, too, too slow, too slow. Cabalin, too, 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 too. Shut the fuck up, Cabal! Jesus. I didn't say anything. I'm sitting uh, here. Not. And I don't blame there you. There is some crazy shit going on behind me. That's all I got to say. You know what? I, I don't blame you. He just, he's so loud, you know? Oh, me or Cabal? <laughs> cabal, Cabal. Not... <laughs> I mean, you too, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the next match underway. Ham Rashid going up against Pulse. This should be a good one. Oh, my God. This should be a really good one. You know, Ham Rashid, this guy has proven himself to be probably one of the top Fujin players, bro. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, You know, we're, we're going to have... Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate coming any minute. And what I'm most excited for, Caboose, is I'm, I'm most excited to see what the hell these players are going to be able to do with these new characters. You know, I'm, I'm hoping, like, uh, like people actually do get real interested in them. And when tournament time comes, I'm hoping we get to see these characters in action. You know what I'm... Okay, this is going to sound bad. And I... And I Okay, okay, okay. Let me try and phrase this as best as I can. Security, get I ready hope to body these slamming. DLC characters. I hope these DLC characters come out and they're and they're good enough that people really want to play them. You know the way that we see Han Rashid, who like loves what Fujin's playstyle is like and has showcased that on full display, or even someone like Hayate who's playing a lot of Fujin. Like it's it's so awesome to see. And I hope when Rain, when Jonathan Rambunsky and Melina do come out with Ultimate Mortal Kombat 11. I do hope that they're good enough that people want to play as them in tournaments so that we can see some of that high-level play with those DLC characters. Because it's one of the most fun things to see, especially with the amount of Fuji we've seen in Champions of the Realms has been awesome. We even saw, you know, Sunio, who was playing with Robocop. Even that stuff's great. You know, although it's like a zoning-heavy character, not necessarily a lot of combos, but to see somebody utilize these DLC characters, these newer characters that have just recently been added to the roster to their fullest potential is always cool. Yeah, definitely, 100%, man. And that's what I'm most interested interested in, too. 
I think regardless if Rambo sucks or not, I'm definitely going to be playing with him just for the, like, he looks so great in the game, you know? He just looks like such a well done. The render they got of Rambo looks phenomenal. They got the actual Stallone yeah. doing the voice. So it's the best part. Yeah, dude, it's going to be it's such so an experience cool. uh, to go at it. With yeah. I'm your worst nightmare. I wonder now, like, Fine. since we got the rain trailer, when are we going to get Molina? When are we going to get uh, Rambo's trailer? Hopefully soon. I wouldn't doubt it, man. I think they want to knock out these trailers early because we're probably going to get some combat casts to follow along these uh, characters, you know? They probably got you it. We're going to get one for each. Hopefully. I'm hoping we get one for each because just more content and it's more fun for the community. I got to wow, look at this right now, man. We got a classic matchup. Kung Lao versus Fujin. Going to shoot him with the bow and arrow. The crossbow. Good throw from Pulse. Yo, this is a character we don't usually see Pulse playing. We usually see him go with the noob Saibot pick or the uh, Aaron Black. That's right. He's got a Kung Lao now. It's doing oh, pretty nice fucking throw. good. There was an attempt on the Fatal Blow there from Han Rashid, so he's out of it now. He can't say that he's in that territory to close out a game with it. Cancels the Skywalker. Oh man, tries to go for the amplification. Yo, this movement, Holy, he's running this across the screen. Crazy. And the teleport will do it. Pulse takes the first round. Pulse was like, bro, you're getting a little out of control. I gotta end this here and now. I think, is it me or did that ponytail get a little bit longer? I don't know. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Nice tech. Got the forward three into the Skywalker. Converts the full combo. It's so flashy. Yeah, it really is. Good punish. Pulse right now, he's just, oh my God, what a trade. I don't think I've ever seen that, that happen in Mortal Kombat 11. He pulls him in again, dropping the combo though. Super unfortunate stuff from Amber Sheen, but he gets another pickup going. Good jump crossover. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and the down two, closing it out. It's just that speed that you see from Fujin. When Han Rashid is using this character, he's all over the screen every second. It's crazy. Nice combo, though, from Pulse. Gearing towards the corner. Going to have another combo opportunity here. All the way with some good damage. Drops the end of it, but still a good hit. The back throw is going to increase that life lead even more. Oh! He's looking to get the flawless. Oh, but Han Rashid knew the throw was coming. This is going to be good damage for Han Rashid to get away with. Oh Into the fatal gosh. blow. Look at the damage I on this. I think this was optimal. He went for full optimal damage on Holy this fatal smoke. blow. A near 50% combo. What is he going to set him up with this time, wow. though? He went for the full dash up into a grab, but pulls with the jump backs. Oh my god, this is too much. Good blocks from Han. Wow. Oh. He Good got the sweep. Four. Good grab. He got the throw. Is there a crushing blow? The magic no. pixel destroyer. Only a real master. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Again. Oh, he pulled the wake up. Han Rashid. Dude, that was the most godlike thing I've ever seen a Fujin player do. Oh my I'm god. sorry. That was the most godlike thing I've seen a oh Fujin player do, god. bro. What in the fuck did he just do? I think his soul escaped his body <laughs> and ascended to another realm. Oh my god. Dude, I'm not The mind comeback mind of mind a mind. lifetime. That was stupid. That might have been one of the greatest moments of this entire tournament. Dude, no, 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 that, that was too much. That was honestly too much. Yo, how many times did he just outspace the, the attack from Pulse? Han Rashid literally ascended right there. I would be intimidated if I'm Pulse coming into this next match after that, bro. Oh my god. Dude. That was nuts. <laughs> Let's see what happens here, man. Let's see if Pulse is going to be able to bounce oh, back no. after that stupid comeback from Amber Sheet. Oh, my God. Starting off the round immediately with a throw in escape fell there. You know what that means for Fujin. Oh, the whip punish. I think Han Rashid is riding a massive wave of momentum. Can Pulse shut this down? Looking like he's going to be able to start off this game. Good stuff. Great combo, 28%. Oh man, he escaped fail right off the bat too. 
Pulse is just loading everything up right now. Oh, dude. Yep, we've got crushing blow throws ready on I'm, both I'm sides I'm loving now. this, though. This is definitely going to show that Pulse is not phased from that comeback. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Is he going to make another one, bro? Is he about to make... Blow. Is he about to make... Hold up. Oh, hold up. Down two. No, no, no. Hold up. No, no, no. Oh, he the caught counter. the jump, bro. No. Wake up. The sweep. Yo, no. Han Rashid. Get the fuck out of my face with this shit. I'm ending the stream. This is disgusting. This man is a machine. Oh, the grab tech. Dude, two crazy comebacks back to back from Amber Sheed right now. I don't know Insane. what's going on. He tried to make a stupid read right there, but not going to work out for him. Oh, still fighting in this set. Still keeping his nice brain workout. attached. Paul's got to close out these rounds, though. You do not want to give Hunter Sheed even the slightest bit of space. We, after what we've seen off the last game and this first round, Hunter Sheed is dangerous. Super dangerous. A lot of hat tosses here. Oh my god, Ooh. he's gonna kick him out of the air. And that is gonna do it. Paul shutting down a potential comeback from Ham Rashid. Because right now, this man is on fire. Look at the tip of his ponytail. It's fucking smoking. Caboose. Nice punish there off the back. 1-1. One, one. Really good counter here. He's gonna catch him with a down two extra damage. He thought the breakaway was gonna be in play. Oh man. He's gonna catch him slipping pulse right now. Applying some premium grade A thumbnail pressure. Oh, he had that crushing blow throw locked and loaded for almost the whole game. Duck. Dude, you know what would be uh, a good story for this uh, timeline here? If Pulse makes the pixel comeback. That would be nuts. Oh, oh it doesn't look like that storyline begins in this game. As Han Rashid now goes up 2-0 in this set. Look at this outro, so sick. This wand is airbending right Yo, before have our you eyes. Seen, have you seen that video of the guy who recreates some of the intros and outros in MK11? I gotta check it out. He's like a real life Shaolin monk. Like I'm not even joking, Holy like a real shit. life Shaolin monk. And he looks meet at him. some of the intros. It's so sick. I wanna it's meet him so and I wanna I gotta him. send you the link. I guess that he's, a, he's a funny guy too. I love his channel. I want to shake. Really I want to shake. Guy. Can we get him on the Champions of the Realm? You think we can make that happen? That would be dope. Can we get him on know. Champions of the Realm? Can, can, can we have him just like you know? Say Grand some. Ton. He is. He is dope. I love his channel. Let's have him tell us some uh, some good things that happens in the Shaolin temples after dark. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got him on speed dial. Imagine. I thought he lives under your computer desk. You lied to me. No, that wasn't him. That was uh, that was Sylvester Stallone. Look. I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> Get back under the desk. Oh All my right. god. <laughs> oh my god. He Anyways, he makes a character. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a character switch to Aaron Black. Let's see if he's gonna be able to make a comeback, man. You know this cowboy from hell. He's definitely got a bunch of tricks up his sleeve. Probably one of the greatest characters in an online scenario. Let's see what Pauls can make happen here. Oh, he gets opened up by the what is it? Back two. Nice back one now. Immediately to the dive kick. Okay, the back two connect. Pulse. Time's an answer. Sets up with the poison. Oh, up. And the back two's again. He's going to get the round. Beautiful stuff. Okay. That was really good. He's going to shoot the bird in the sky and it's going to fall to the ground. The bird was fucking ginormous. Wow, another back two going to catch him slipping. And Rashid, he's giving it to him. Ooh, that, oh, that, went for the short hop. that was the most swaggiest looking short hop I think I've seen in the game. Doesn't he have a crushing blow on that short hop? Maybe. Maybe you're thinking might about Arnold. It might not be. I don't think it's in this variation. I think you're thinking about Arnold. He has one too. I know that. 
Oh, I... try to flawless block the amplification. Missed the opportunity to. Yeah. That's... Oh, wait a second. I think that's going to be the game. That might be the game. It's going to be really close. No, but it will... Wait. Oh, it might be Magic Pixel. Oh, my God. Yeah, it He's will still be. still alive. You don't want to... You the do poison. not want to give Hammer Sheet a moment like this. Oh, my God. The scud shot. <laughs> If you saw another comeback from hand, bro, I would have just gave him a spot into the finale. It, it would have been a nine-man bracket. Honestly, after that first comeback that he made, he almost deserves it off that alone. Very good stuff, man. Paul's taking one on the board here. That's kind of going to put a halt to uh, Hammer Sheev's momentum he had going on there because hand was on fire. He really was. Aaron Black. And Rashid, gonna go right back to the Fujin pick. I mean, why not? He's been doing so good with the character, you know? Might as well keep this going. But I mean, I, I always like to say, man, like, I'm not the player, but one thing to take into consideration is when you have that 2-1 lead, you know, a time for a character switch might be now. Because if Han Rashid ends up losing this against Pulse, he's gonna be stuck, like, you know, in a little character crisis, thinking who in a bit go. of a pickle, in a bit of a pickle. Whoa! Oh, nice flawless block. He just put him right to the ground there. Trying to take a back dash. He's gonna get the whip punish. I think that was a whip punish on like a down four from Pulse. Madness. And Rasheed is cooking. Listen, I'm not one to try and root for somebody or root against anybody, especially when we're commentating in this tournament scenario. But if we're talking about a storyline, how disappointing would it be if Han Rashid, after the craziest comeback I think we've seen in this entire tournament, isn't able to complete the set? But now, after that round win, Han Rashid is on match point. Can Pulse answer? Oh, escape fail off the throw. That's a punching blow back throw. For Aaron Black. Oh my god, he's getting up close and personal, but wait a second, the back twos from Pulse gonna connect. Gonna finish it off with the low slide into the acid puddle, very nice. smart stuff. He goes, he just wakes up and goes straight for the back twos. The ball's on Pulse right now. His ball's in. He's a stud. Nice combo. A final round scenario, Pulse. Trying to send this to a game five. Still match point for Han Rashid, who I'm sure desperately wants to close out this set. Making the comeback that he did and losing the set is the equivalent Bro. of hitting a game winner or, or a buzzer beater Whoa. shot to take it to overtime and still losing. Han was getting melted in that corner right there for a second, but he's finally gonna find an escape. Oh, what a short hop short kick. Hop. He's running, he's running to the right side of the screen. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. That was, I the, that was gonna be crushed. Dude, that was a bait on the scud shot. So smart from Han Rashid. This is gonna be oh, this, this, is gonna, this is gonna hurt! He's gonna yank the ponytail off of his head! Oh my god. So much damage. Nice wake up. The sweep! Oh that sweep is so good! He got the forward 4 3. Oh that's a whip punish! This is bad crushing blow! It's acid. What's the setup? Wow. And the sweep, we're going to a game five destroyer. Wow. Why is this happening, Caboose? I don't know, but Han Rashid has got to find something. Like I said, <laughs> it's, if Han Rashid loses the set, it's like the equivalent of being in a basketball game, hitting a buzzer beater to tie it and send it to overtime, but still losing. You know, like you got to complete the set. You got to complete the storyline. But let's see. Pulse is playing extremely well with that Aaron Black. Is Paul, or sorry, is Han Rashid going to switch characters? Just like you mentioned. Could we see it happen? He, oh my God, if he ends up He's sticking thinking. with the Fujin man, he is basically gonna complete this, you know, this little battle with Fujin. He's finishing what he started here, Han Rashid. And he's yeah. selecting Fujin man. He is cementing this character choice. Han Rashid is not gonna be able to go back. Neither of these players are gonna be able to go back because this is it. Final game, tied two to two. Pulse versus Han Rashid. Get fucking hype in the chat right now before I start issuing Class A bans straight off the bat. Round one, fight. 
Ooh, good grab. Nice throw. Good tag. Okay, but Hunter She now going to get things going to start off this game. Amplified. Nice back two into the warp needle. But now Pulse going to get things going. Amplifies the slide. What's the side of you? He was looking for the throw. Delayed wake up into the punish. Beautiful stuff from Hunter She. Oh it's my caught God. now though by the back 2-2 two, two again. This is getting too close. It'll blow oh, and it's gonna oh, land. He's dead. Bro, he is It's about to be dead. match point scenario for Pulse to potentially complete a reverse 3-0. Oh what does God. Han Rashid do here? The only silver lining is that that fatal blow is no longer a factor for the rest of this game. He's gonna toss the cage at him. Hold on. Paul's sitting in the court. I mean, sitting in the mid screen game. He's kind of got nice hand machine throw. locked down here. I hope this doesn't crush and blow. Whew. It does not. I don't think there's any attack or um, escape fail. He tried to go for the back lands. four. This is looking oh, so man. dangerous for hand machine. It's a heartbreak. He flew out of there. Oh boy. He goes for the cancel straight into the down poke. Oh no, another throw lands. It's looking rough. The back two is from Pauls. He's just keeping this pressure. Okay. Hold on. We've seen it before, Caboose. We've seen the comeback before. Oh, that's going to be a punish. This might I be think it. He's dead. This might be it. He's got the slide into the sweep and the reverse 3 0. -oh. After such an incredible comeback, Han Rashid has been eliminated. I cannot believe Pulse just kept that composure after all he's been through in this set to close it out 3-2 to two against Han Rashid. What a battle, man. I, yo, give Listen. it up give it up for Pulse, man, advancing in that crazy set. That was a nightmare of a match right there. No doubt about it. Huge, huge props to Pulse, who completed the reverse 3-0 in an incredible set that'll go down as one of the best we've seen Woo! for Champions of the Realms. But as well, you gotta give a hand to Han Rashid. That comeback, it, it'll be cemented as one of the coolest things I've seen in this game for a very, very long time. Who knows what week, uh, week eight holds or for the rest of this tournament holds, but I'm really not sure if anybody's gonna be able to pull off the insanity that Han Rashid did during that set. So big ups to him. He's still got one more week to try and make it in. So there's still an opportunity, but Pulse will move on in that loser side of the bracket is going to face off against Blizzard in the loser's quarterfinal. Ooh, that's going to be sick. Yeah. It's going to be nuts. Let's take a look at the bracket here to get you guys caught up with speed. Um, we had quite the battle between all these players. You know, we got combat versus Blizzard. Combat taking it 3-1. Biohazard versus So Sick Nash fan. Uh, Bio took that 3-1. Then jumping down to the losers. Kerbo taking it over. Deadly Rebel 3-1. Pulse taking it over. Hand Rashid with a reverse 3-0. Absolute insanity. Uh, I hope you guys have all been enjoying this action so far. As always, we want to give a huge shout out to the team over at Console Gaming League for fueling this tournament with a whopping $1,000 finale prize Woo! pool, a $150 prize pop bonus for each week. That's right, these competitors are competing for $150 and a spot into the $3,000 finale top eight. So yep. get yep. hyped, guys. It's going to be crazy. We're going to be taking a quick break. We got to recover from all that craziness, especially after the hammer sheet come back. And when yep. we come back, it's going to get dirty. Welcome back, everybody. Champions of the Realm, week seven, top eight is going down. You know, we had some historical matches take place like a couple seconds before we got off of this uh Got got yeah. off to this break. Caboose, man. Han Rashid versus Pulse. Was that Battle of the Legends or what? That was just just as you said, a legendary set. That'll go down for sure as one of the best of all seven weeks. And that set right there is exactly why we want to put on this tournament. You know, we want we want to bring you guys action like that. And I feel like for seven weeks, there's been crazy sets. Oh, but yeah. my God, on the second to last week 
of the qualifiers. We see one of the craziest comebacks of all time. Now, granted, unfortunately, Han Rashid wasn't able to complete that set, but still, that clip is out there. You guys, that it, that was just, it was just ridiculous. So Absolutely crazy, Absolutely ridiculous. So big shots to Han Rashid, who again, still has another opportunity. This is not the last week. We got one more week that'll be taking place next week, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, over on my channel. Uh, and by the way, speaking of week eight, make sure you sign up. Sign Do up not right now. Waste any sign up time. right now. What are the requirements to sign up Caboose before these guys look like lost guinea pigs in that tournament? What are the requirements? Well, it's real simple. You just got to have an Ethernet connection. So make sure you're, you're plugging a wire into the back of your console. It's a PlayStation 4 only tournament. So you got to make sure you're having a PlayStation. Uh, and then also, you got to be in North America. If you don't, if you enter outside of North America, we're gonna have some problems. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, like, just just make sure you follow those rules. Ethernet connection, no Wi-Fi yeah. at all. You gotta have a PlayStation. You gotta be in North America, and then and, sign up. Hit exclamation point. Sign up in chat. And also, I want to make it clear. You know, we're making this tournament North America region. We're not excluding all the other regions because we're like some fucked up dictator. No, type dudes no, or no, anything. no, not at all. It's the straight fact that we want this to be a nice, smooth experience for the competitors. You know, because it's an online tournament, and if we start mm -hmm. pitting, you know, North America to like some South America regions, the connection can start getting extremely shitty, and it's gonna be very in un unenjoyable for the players and listen it'll just be a whole big shit show so again if you guys, guys have been watching the through all the, of the regions weeks, yeah tell if them. you guys have been watching through all the weeks then you'll know even playing in the north american only tournament people have disconnected and we've had connection issues and people can't connect to me sometimes so like you can only imagine like if we were to run it outside of this region uh, it could potentially cause even more issues and it's again it's not because we have anything against the people in like the uk the eu all that it's nothing about that. It's just because we want to make sure we run as smooth of a tournament as possible, and we don't want to. We don't want there to be any complications in terms of connection. Yeah. So here we go. Next game underway. Once again, still in that loser side of the bracket. So sick, Nash fan, facing off against Kerbalicious, who's got the spins, and he's gonna be telling Nash fan that he's too slow and that he's hooked. This is really good right now. He's gonna catch him oh. with the down back four. Breaking his back into a thousand pieces. We try to get the jump in. Hold on. He dashed up in there a little bit. Oh, wow. He just woke up empty. No buttons, no wake up. Just took that scream like a man. I think he actually likes these Sindel screams. Good combo conversion Beautiful. right here. Making it count, dude. What is this damage? My God. That's two almost 40% combos in one round. And then he's going to get the down four into the gas. Okay, Kerbalicious. Really good stuff here. All right, he's going to get a nice forward four. And again, two characters that have really good forward fours. But we're not going to talk about that. What a Nomad Dash. Going to go with the raw Nomad Dash. Captain so uh, Oh my god, wait a second. Is that a drop combo, or are you trying to go for the setup? I think he's got the spin. Over 2-2. Two, two. So much defense from Sosig Nash fan. Finally nice. finding an opening Bomber there. Breaker. That was a lot of freaking damage right there. Good stuff from Nash fan. A lot of patience, a lot of blocking, and it inevitably pays off. Wow, enemy AC 130 inbound. Go sick Nash man. Oh shit. They're coming in hot, Caboose. I gotta get out of here. Oh man, this is gonna be a miracle for Turbo. And that yep. is gonna do it. I think what would have helped them out there was going for the X-ray. I mean a fatal blow. Yeah, but you obviously you don't wanna take that risk with there still being quite the life lead. I think what Kerbo was trying to do was catch that nomad dash just as the unblockable was gonna go away. But he couldn't find the timing right, unfortunately. Oh. So we're tied up on the rounds. And Nash, man, there's your favorite, the forward fours. I was looking for it all day. I said, man, when is Kerbo going to throw out that forward? When is uh, So Sick Nash going to throw out that forward four? The scream canceled, but hold on. Kerbo calling him out. Going to hit him with another Rondo Mad Dash. Oh, catch the air to air. No combo off of it, though. And the amplified air projectiles. This could be the end of the game. Not just yet. No, no, no. 
Oh man, this is dangerous stuff here. Oh. So sick, Nash right with the low scream, gonna close this out, making the score one zero. -oh. Very good stuff. Now, if Kerbo activated Fatal Blow on the on that second unblockable activation from Nash Van, would he still get caught by one hit and the Fatal Blow activates two? Like, what happens there? Does he get away with the Fatal Blow and gets the damage? I don't know. Because in that scenario, in final round, like, yeah, that that is it. That's your last option. I don't know what the case may be, but what I can tell you right now is so sick Nash fan is feeling himself. Come on. Very much so, no see doubt about it. Let's see if Kerbo is going to be able to do something about it. See of blood. Okay, yeah, so somebody confirmed my theory in the chat that the Fatal Blow would go through, but he would die still. Like, he would still take the unblockable damage, and the Fatal Blow animation would come through, but he'd be dead, essentially. So there was just about nothing that Kerbo could have done, unfortunately. Wow. It was unreal. Going into this next game here, man, for a player like Sozik Nashvan to be taking game number one against a veteran such as Kerbalicious definitely says something here. It says that Sunel's broke his shit. No, I'm just kidding. But down one. man, you said it. I didn't say anything. I don't know. I'm quoting you on that. I didn't say anything. You're getting quoted on that. Wow. <laughs> Alright, what's happening here? He tries to get the jump in. The double jump ins from Kerbalicious. So sick Nash man with the enemy AC 130, the standing four. This guy's making everything work for him here. Wow, you know he was going for the meter burn scream, but the buzz yep. gonna shut it down. Oh, nice flawless block. Off the cross up. Great stuff from Nash man. Catches the forward too. Oh, this is looking so bad for Kerbo. He's setting him up for failure again. Why? Why'd he do that? You cannot satisfy me. I don't know. This is very tough. Nash fan is playing exceptionally well with Sindel. Fight. Yeah, so sick. Oh, you, gotta fix, you gotta fix Kerbo's name. Why? You got an S where there should be a C. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, he screams at him again. The double scream combo. Oh, yeah, I'll change it for you. Just uh, for me. Huh? I know you, what you want. You better? Did I spell it right now? I gotta, I gotta see. Ooh. The forward four and the scream brutality. <laughs> Gonna take him out here. So sick Nash fan. With the 2-0 lead on Kerbalicious, a.k.a. Too oh Slow, a.k.a. Goodness. Got the Spins, a.k.a. Slim Shady. Got the Spins, got the Spins, got the Spins. Wow, Nash fan playing so well with Sindel. Like, doing such a great job with this character. Just keeping Kerbo at bay. All right, I'm going to go play Ghost of Tsushima Legends. I'll catch you tomorrow. Kerbalicious? Oh shit. <laughs> Come on. Send down. That should be that should be the one right there. That should be That should be the one. Oh, I got a good one for you. Wait, no, there's a there's an extra eye, I think. I give up. <laughs> You're gonna like this one a lot. <laughs> show me, show me. Oh my god. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Kerbalicus. Yeah, okay, that's the one. Run <laughs> away. Oh, the down one from Kerbalicus. He's gonna open him up. He's gonna use the amplified meter. To get some extra damage, you're gonna bop Sindel nice. on the top of the head. 
Damn, what a comeback from Kerbo Lickus. That's Look at what we're calling from now on? No, well, if I finally learn how to spell Kerbalicious, maybe we could call him by Kerbalicious. Same as his uh, PSN. It's right there. I can't see. I'm blind. Okay. Look at these forward fours. Nice wake up, though, from Kerbalicious. <laughs> there we go. What a saga. All right, nice crushing glow there for Kerbo. Oh, the back two. Could have been so dangerous. He goes for the fatal blow. No, no punish. punish. And he still and ends up taking the this. game. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So sick, Nashman could have defended that game there, but unfortunately, he missed a crucial punish. That's gonna finally put Kerbalicious on the board here. Now let me tell you, man, Kerbalicious finally getting on the board is some dangerous news because Zosik Nash fan, you know, he needs to close this out as fast as possible. You do not want to give a player like Kerbalicious a game. Not one single game. Yeah, you do not want to give them an ounce of room. And so far, or well, based on that last game. You said you don't want to give them an ounce of weed? What are you talking about? Well, you know what, Destroyer, listen, okay? Come on. Sometimes. I give him an ounce of wheat, but he's gonna have to pay for it. Lost time with the <laughs> Titan. That's the rules. Yeah, this is gonna be big. Kerbalicious, definitely riding a wave of momentum. That was tough because, again, yeah, Nashvan blocked that fatal blow, had an opportunity to tie up the round, but just missed it. Especially the flawless block the fatal blow. <laughs> what? I just thought of the perfect name, but I'm not I'm not gonna put it because it's gonna set us off, bro. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm not even gonna put it, bro. <laughs> oh my god, he goes from the back four. How many no how many run no man? is this guy gonna go with man so sick nash man is gonna have to start blocking these because kerbo is getting away with murder here holy cow look even the spider came out he said you better not let him do another ro raw nomad dash i'm serious and he left you see the spider knows the spider knows the spider's pissed. The spider's pissed. The spider's pissed. but what i tell you though a second ago, I said you do not want to give a player like Kerbalicious a yep. game. He is taking full advantage of this momentum here, and he's making so sick Nash fan pay the price. Okay, good launcher. Did you say that though? Wait, is that a drop oh, combo? Is it, is oh no! Is it, is it Adrian? He went for the armor breaker. Was expecting that breakaway. Still guaranteed damage. Closes out the combo. The forward 2-2 two, two into the Nomad Dash. There's the breakaway now. Oh no, Nash fans getting caught by everything. This is bad news. We could be going to a game five destroyer. Nice sweep. Oh, the instant air. Amplify projectile lands. This is gonna be hard. And that's gonna be it. We're going to a game five. Just as you've been saying, you give Kerbalicious that little bit of breathing room and he is going to punish you bad for it. Now, what do you do if you're Nash fan? If you're a Nash fan, you take a second on that character select screen and you go over your options against Cabal. You figure out what is gonna be the best possible solution for this matchup. And you're gonna have to go in there with as much confidence as possible, man. I believe in so sick Nash fan because Kerbo is coming here Hungry for blood. This is scary, Caboose. I'm scared. Yep. I'm hiding under yep. my bed because I'm terrified. Come on. Sit down. Sit on Here we go. Game number five. What a hype tournament we've had today. 
This is our third, or no, our second game five of the day. But no set, no set that we've seen so far has been a 3-0. Yeah, we could play that set and I can make it happen real quick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you'll get 3 0'd. <laughs> I like how you ignored that. <laughs> All right. Starting off game five, we got a little bit of a back and forth between the players. There's the block on that Nomad Dash that you've been asking for. This is big Nuts. crushing blow though for Kerbo. Doesn't get the combo conversion, very unlike him. Doesn't get the combo Denver conversion? Are you kidding me? This is not looking too pretty for your boy So Sick Nash fan. Actually, these guys are about even as can be here. I wasn't looking at the set for a second, but now that I'm looking at it, this is a close ass match. Hits him with the enemy AC 130. So Sick Nash fan, he's full screen zoning it out right now. Kerbo does not have access to the fatal blow just yet. Now he oh, does. He lands Is he the overhead. The fatal blow? No, oh, he doesn't no. need it. He doesn't need it. He's gonna close out the round. That is so tough. Nash Van landed the overhead, but he didn't get the full hit confirmed. Ay, mi madre. Ay, mi madre. That's the hundred raw nomad dash he's done today. I don't know how many he's got in store but he's been doing them all, all this entire set man your boy so sick nash fan is gonna need a new pair of diapers after this set oh my god so sick nash fan needs to wake up now or never he is literally on his last nice armor breaker yeah that was really good stuff did a nice chunk of damage too Oh, the whiff. That could have been a big whiff punish. What is he waiting for? Huge. There you okay. go. Okay. Scream crush. He's going to go full damage here. Oh, yeah. Three stand. Gets the forward four to connect again. Again, and we're tied up. Final round. Final game. I wouldn't want it any other way. Final round. Fight. I'm nervous. It's hot. Enemy AC 130 above. He's got to watch out with those. Oh, nice tag. Oh my God. Oh, he wanted to jump he threw it right in front of her face. That was so crazy. He goes for the one, 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 keeping it not safe with the gas blast because he didn't amplify it, but he got away with murder there. Beautiful conversion. Oh. Oh. Herbalicious is going to town right now. What is so sick Nash man going to do in this situation? Nice. nice. Gets the cross oh. up into a sweep. Oh my God. Oh. Projectile lands. They both have Whoa. fatal blow if they get to that point in their life bar. And Nash Ryan will, but this is gonna hurt. Wait, this might be it. Bro, he's dead. No, he's not dead he yet. He lived. And that's gonna be it. Kerbalicious takes the set. What a reverse 3 0 at that. Yes, indeed. A reverse 3 0 as he drags Sindel across the screen, tosses her, and splits her Toto in two pieces. Holy shit. What a way to finish this reverse 3-0 from Kerbalicious. You know, Shao Kahn's going to walk into the room and he's going to say, My wife! What did you do to my wife? And Cabal's going to... Why sound like that in your head? I don't know. And then Sindel's going to... I mean, Cabal's going to say, Too slow. And he's going to dash off. Crazy man, <laughs> get ready. That's gonna happen in the aftermath a 2.0 expansion. <laughs> Caboose, I know you're looking at me funny, but I got Kane and Undertaker behind you, ready to suplex you. So, my bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad. All right, up next, we got a juicy one. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> we got Blizzard versus Pulse. Yep, and get those invites sent out. Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still in the loser side. After this, we're going to be moving on to the winner's final, which will be uh, combat versus biohazard. Holy cow. That'll be huge. Yeah, That'll be huge. That's a good one right there. And I, I always say, man, that per the person who takes that winner's final um, definitely is going to have that huge advantage 
because you're going to be walking into that winter side grand final with that three game cushion you know you could lose three games and you'll still be in the tournament like that winter side grand finals is a different type of power yeah and especially oh man if some even if someone like combat or biohazard is able to have that comfortable position it's going to be very hard to take them down to have a full six games to try and adapt to your opponent would be huge but we're gonna we're gonna get to that match eventually. What was like it one Curry of the, weren't you having connection issues with uh down baton? Is one of them saying they can't connect? No, I'm just asking. Just in case if they can't connect. Uh I can't remember, but we'll see. Well, fingers crossed. If they can't, then I'll just I back out right away. And we'll, uh, we'll make it I got my fingers crossed right now. Please. I hope the players can connect into the lobby and everything can go smooth as butter biscuits. Oh, there's down baton. Oh, perfect. So we're we're good to go. Yeah, we're good. All right, I'm ending the stream. I'll catch you tomorrow, Caboose. Have a good one, bro. All right, see you later, man. Have a good one. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. You're too crazy, man. All right, down baton versus Paul's NYC. I feel like the biggest battle starts off on the character select screen. And look at that, Paul's. I don't, I don't really remember what went down, but I think. Paul made a reverse comeback, right? Did he? He did, right? Oh, a, yes. There was a yeah, lot yeah, of reverse yeah. 3-0s today. Against Han Rashid. Against Han Rashid after okay, that yeah. insane comeback. Yeah, so he, yeah. He, he made a reverse 3-0 after the super fucking ultimate comeback. And he's here in the loser semifinals. Is he going to be able to go up against Blizzard? Fight. Here we go. Man, I'm telling you, th this skin from Sub Zero, bro, it just makes the character 50 times better. I thought I thought the Deception skin did that for him, but this just makes him 50 times better than he already was in my personal opinion. This is 100 times better. Oh my God, the back two's punished. <laughs> Pulse right now has the corner position, acid on the ground. Down Baton literally just lost almost half of his life blocking in that corner. That's how dangerous Aaron Black is if you get a little too uh, too defensive. Yep. Look at this, bro. What is happening? Stop it! Oh, man. The back to again. He goes, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And Sub-Zero gets up. He said, Maldita mierda puta. That's my favorite intro dialogue. From Sub Zero, yeah, I like that one too. Okay, puts the acid on the ground. A lot of pressure is happening here. Whoa, a stream you nice. rarely see from Aaron Black. Gonna connect. Oh, that's crush. And of course, Pulse is gonna spend that. Has the acid. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. That's potentially going to be the game. What? The back two will do it. Did Pulse almost just get a flawless there? I he pretty much did. That was a flawless. He pretty much did. That looked like a flawless to me. It won't say it because I think he took like one hit on block. He better say but it. But it was pretty much a flawless. He better say it. Okay. He didn't He didn't say it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Man, is Blizzard going to be able to bounce back after that one? That was a back two onslaught of a lifetime he just took there. Blizzard is probably having some <laughs> severe headaches after that match. See what goes down. We did see him make a, a variation switch to Avalanche when he was down uh, the last set in Winterside. And he did pretty damn good with Avalanche. So, you know, he should probably consider making that variation switch a bit more early. It may be serve him better. Yeah, you think, yeah? I think, yeah. I mean, the Avalanche, the I, you do, I, I think, yeah, as well. But yeah, the Avalanche variation did end up working out pretty well for him. I remember it was the set against combat where he found he found a little bit of signs of life, but oh yeah, is he going? Yeah, he did switch. He's watching the stream. He's watching. I think he's screen watching. He's definitely watching the stream right now. Shut, shut off the stream so he can stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the forward four plus frames locked and loaded. Go straight in for the creeping ice early on. Another one keeping it safe. Bro, I'm telling you. Blizzard with his variation is something else. 
That combo is so sick. Nice throw to punish the wake up. Roll. Flawless block on the creeping ice. Good stuff. Paul's got to make sure he gets tech like that in there. Any less damage you can take on Chip is important. Oh, but the throw connects again. This character switch, or sorry, variation switch, is proving to work really well for Blizzard as they've gotten that first round convincingly so. Fight. Really good stuff here. He's gonna with the scud shot, put the acid on the ground, but look at that. Blizzard just walking straight to his face, gonna deliver the overhead deluxe. He said, puta, avantate. The subs are a savage, bro. I don't know why he's going so ham. Yeah, I really don't know. Oh, wow, the down four into the low I slide, catching the get up roll. The blocks from Blizzard. Creeping Ice has so much range. That wow. Blizzard. Did you see two in that rain trailer? He looks like he's got his own kind of Creeping Ice looking thing. Don't tell me that. This could be the end of the game, but the breakaway. Hold on. No, oh, no, Blizzard needs to stay Did composed here. Don't, don't you, because I will freaking have Arnold body slam you. Is, is Pulse going to channel his inner Han Rashid? No, he's going to get whip punished there off the back 2-2. Two -two, and Blizzard will take that game and tie up this set. I love this outro right here, man. He is just doing that Link Way swag. Dude, yeah. And, and again, I'm telling you, man, you got to watch that video of the, the, the Shaolin Monk. It does this? He re he recreates this one. It's all. Oh, it's it's really cool, just and get, he gives like a lot of insight just about. Just get him on the stream. The martial arts behind get it. Him yeah, I'll hit stream. him up. All right, hey Ranton, you wanna you wanna come to us? <laughs> what do you say? He said he said he hates you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck him then. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ranton, I love you. <laughs> I love you. All right. I take that back. It's too late. Let's see what happens here. Down baton. I mean, Blizzard. AKA down baton. AKA big we gotta, we gotta get We gotta get down baton to change, change his PSN name. To what? Blizzard. Man. I can only imagine how many Blizzards are out there. On the PSN. Probably like, probably like none, right? Nine thousands. You crazy? You got Blizzard number one, two, three, four, five, six. Every single number you can think of is a Blizzard. That's why he had to go with down oh, baton 40. Wait. Did Paul switch variations now? Yeah, he switched to locked and loaded. Very good stuff. Blizzard is getting to work here. Scott Paul's in the corner, gonna open him up with the low. What is it gonna be? Oh my God, the breakaway from Paul. He said, get off of me. Get the fuck off of me. Tries to get a jump in, gets caught by the rifle. Pour a little bit of acid on the back of his head. He throws the ice, another ice ball. Wow, he stops the, the, the forward four from Sub Zero with a down four of his own. This is such a fast paced match here, bro. I cannot keep up. Oh, oh shit! Oh no. Look at Sub Zero's burn. He's. Ah, ah. This is crazy, man. The back and forth between these two fighters. I can feel the pain happening to these players right now. Oh, nice jump in to punish. Beautiful. He's going to get the crush. He's saving it. I don't know what he's saving it for. This is do or die, Blizzard. You got to you gotta kill him. Well, it's not do or die just yet. It's do or die. I'm getting off. Nice <laughs> tech there from Pulse. Tossing Blizzard right back into the acid. I love how everything's going on, and you got this big ass fucking troll dude putting all these creatures in the in the beast pen arena. Oh no! Ooh. Scary. Oh no! Good flawless block. He didn't, four. he didn't do nothing about it though. Oh man, the throw comes in. He's still alive. All he needs is one confirm into the the. Oh, oh no, but that's going to be the game. Pulse now takes the lead in the set 2-1. to one. Very good stuff from Pulse. Showing why he is a true outlaw of Netherrealm. I don't know, man. Blizzard is doing really good with the Avalanche, so he's probably going to have a hard time figuring out what he should go with.
for this potential final game. As we go 2-1, Pulse versus Blizzard. Great stuff right now from Pulse. Playing really, really well with that Aaron Black, of course. Tried and true. Blizzard not out of it yet, though. No way. Has an opportunity here. Is he going to stick? No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. He's thinking about it. I love it, man. The patience from Blizzard right now. He really wants this. He's so close to advancing in this set. You know, he took a game off of Pulse. He just needs to do this two more times. If he can take two more games off of Pulse, this guy will be advancing in this set. Some blocks. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. This oh, is cool. Max damage on the throw. A full 20% up one button press. Oh, try to land the creeping ice. Nice down one anti air. A throw connects. Raw slide. Something you don't see. A lot from Blizzard. That's gonna be a big crushing blow. Wow. And the poison guarantees it. Match point now for Pulse, who's just playing out of his mind. Let's see if Blizzard's gonna be able to do something about this. Just walking back, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Pulse giving it all he's got. He's got the acid on the ground. Okay, overhead's gonna connect. He's gonna set up the, the uh, ice clone or whatever the hell you call that shit. Wow, what an anti-air! Down four nice. into low slide, that slide. was so good. Oh, threatening with the rifle. Good flawless block, but it, yeah, he doesn't really like punish it with anything. Oh man. Immediate breakaway. Break immediately. Yeah, he didn't want to deal with any of that damage. The stagger pressure from Pulse right now is going in full momentum. The blocks? No! He went for it again. Pulse was ready that time, though. This potentially could be the game. Oh, he is dead. going to spill the acid, and that'll do it. Pulse moves on and will now face off against Kerbalicious in the loser's semifinal. Huge shout out to Pulse, man. Coming in here, week number seven, top eight. Making it this far. Uh, he's almost in the money i think this next match if he can beat kerbalicious he's gonna be in the money but before we move on to that we're gonna go into the winner's final here yeah what a winner's final is going to be you guys better be hyped you're gonna see biohazard against combat in the winner's finals that's gonna be nuts is that what it is that is what it is big shout outs to both the competitors there pulse and blizzard Blizzard played extremely well. I really, I really like seeing the Sub-Zero play. Obviously, I especially love seeing that Sub-Zero skin. And just as I will say for anybody who gets eliminated from the tournament this week, there is one more opportunity. So sign up. Hit exclamation point sign up in chat. Smash.gg slash COTR. That, of course, stands for Champions of the Realms. Week 8 is the final week of the qualifiers. And then the finale will be taking place over at Console Gaming League's Twitch channel. So if you also want to make sure you're ready for that, Hit exclamation point CGL in chat and follow their Twitch, twitch.tv slash CGL1 for the hype that'll be taking place later this month. Yes, sir. And man, oh man, we are coming into the winner's final right now where we're going to be having Biohazard going up against Combat. Wow. This match alone right here could boost, could potentially be, you know, could the top eight finale match. This could be the top eight finale grand final with the players yep. we got coming into this winner's final here. And, you know, I, I always vouch. I say whoever gets this spot into that grand finals winner side is going to have a huge fucking cushion. They're going to be chilling, basically. So these guys are going to have to give it their all. Also, you know, whoever wins this match is going to be guaranteed second place. That's going to be bringing yep. them home $50 for tonight. Yep. Put that towards getting your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox Series X. You know, or put that towards pre-ordering Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Whatever Ooh, you want to do. 
Well, that's a good Whatever idea. You Look, do. If you didn't pre-order Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate after that rain trailer, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Raiden. I don't know either. Kano. This is it. Combat Killer going with the Raiden. Bro, Raiden versus Kano for winner's final week oh, seven. Ooh. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? This is different. Oh, this is different indeed. And Combat Killer, you know, he has a huge reputation with this Raiden. He used mm -hmm. it multiple times in competitive tournament play offline and online. So this is going to be quite the treat we get here, guys. I think, too, you know, you have, like, the uh, the comfortability of trying this out. And if it doesn't work out, switch the gun. Nice flawless block there from Bio. Four, four. Man, he is going to work early on. Wow, shutting oh, down the run. overhead. That was so smart, Combat Killer waking up with the buttons. It's like he almost knew he was going to try to catch him with that overhead right there. He's got the fist locked and loaded. He's going to start getting access to all this Rajin crap. That's the beauty of this variation of Raiden. You know, a lot of people fall asleep on it. Having the ability to keep yourself safe after every single string is like... That's the power of it all. Nice four Ten. Wake up. Hey, the back and forth. He's gonna catch him with the knee. Look at this, man. Non-stop. Just keeping it safe all day. Biohazard is having a hard time dealing with this. Good overhead. The wake up buttons from Combat Killer are gonna use the super fly to get out of the corner position. Wow! Nice what a punish. punish again. Combat playing so good. Oh, the wake up. And that'll be game number one with this Raiden. Roger and Raiden, bro. That is like one of the best outros in the game, bro. Instead of exploding and having some crazy shit that usually happens with the outro, he just controls it all and he's like, peace and tranquility. I must consult the elder gods. Oh, Raiden, is that you? Uh, no. Wait, you're Raiden? Oh man, we must have split into a different time zone for a Wait. second. We might have went into a different dimension for a split second. I don't know. You travel through the realms? Well, Kronika's outside my window, so I think she might be a big cause of this. <laughs> Kronika, cut the shit. Puta. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> That's, hey, if you guys don't hear uh, Destroyer for a little bit, then you know what happened. All right, getting right back into it. Let's see what goes down here. The cancel, keeping it safe. He's going to activate the Fist of Fury. The Fist of, uh, what is, what is that move? Minus, minus two? <laughs> what is it? Somebody tell me. What is the minus frame data 100. on that move? Minus a million. It's like minus two. Minus five. Million. Minus four. Minus three. 106. No way. No way. Oh my god. Nice crush. Look at the combo launcher. He's gonna drag him. Is that an armor breaker? I think that is his armor breaker, yes. Man. We are watching a true Raiden at work here. This is like the actual Raiden. Nicely done from Bio. Definitely needs an answer back. Finding the opportunity to do so. Try to get that forward for good tech. Neutral jump. Seeing those flawless blocks, but Bio wasn't capitalizing. Oh, he wanted the parry. I cannot combat believe Combat patient. called that out, bro. But he did not go for a parry the entire game, and Combat just knew it was coming. Very good stuff from Biohazard. He has a pretty convincing life lead here. The command grab is going to close it out. Tying these players one-to-one one apiece. 
What is Combat Killer gonna do to get out this corner? The super fly right out of there. I feel Bio has to have an answer for that. Try to shut that down. Not let Combat Killer, you know, get away with that jail free card. Try to catch him with a low launcher, but Bio ready for it. Keeping it safe. Oh, nice long block. Okay, forward four. That's a crush. You always got to hold down just in case your opponent blocks late. Oh, you opened oh, him up. Come back, Killer has no that's... meter. He can go to town here. 31%. Oh, oh, the desperation fatal blow. This actually could be really dangerous. If he does this caboose, I think I might shrivel up into a shrimp. This could be really, really dangerous. Oh, he went for the grab. He's not dead no yet. No punish. And, and Bio go. gets it with a down one. That'll be the game. Tying things up. We got ourselves a set. Watch out, Caboose. Get out the way. Get out. Ah! Oh, no. You didn't duck? I moved, but it, it fucking homing tracked me. Oh, shit. Kano's got some tech on that knife, huh? Fuck! You all right? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through the rest of this stream. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh don't, 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 no, don't put that. Reptile is putting some shit in there now. You're going to get it infected, Reptile, please. What's Reptile? Why? Ask him why he's not in the game. He just went invisible and he's gone. Oh, my God. How do you get Reptile right there in your room? And you don't ask him that question, Destroyer. What are you doing? Why are you slacking? I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Whoa, would you see that intro? <laughs> that intro is sick. This man came flying in. I thought that was the match right there. Wait a second. Oh, combat actually using this fusion. I, it, just, it all just clicked for me. Yeah, this is pretty sick. It's going to be interesting to see what Combat Killer has with Fujin. You know, a player at his caliber. So far, wow. showcase with some tech. Nice short hop to close that round. Dude, that was a wipeout. Indeed. Oh, he's going to drag him in there. Very nice counter. He's going to go with the launcher. Good overhead. Oh man, the drill right to the to the chest. Biohazard, this could be a potential comeback scenario, man. So many restand plus frame situations he just went in there with. Oh, big. He was looking for the armor oh, breaker. Oh, shut it down. Command grab to shut down a fatal blow. That was nasty. Catching him out of the air. Very nice down one from. Combat killer. I was about to call him Hammer Sheep. Okay, the, the command grab. Ooh, he's gonna wake up with the buttons. That is gonna be a successful attack from Combat Killer. Both of these guys are about even as can be on the life bars. But hold on, Biohazard! Swing it! Whiffing the overhead. Very unfortunate. Nice crush. This does put Bio in fatal blow, though. I think we've seen Bio pull off one of the hypest things ever in, uh, what was it, week, week seven pools, right? Yeah, with that, uh, that up, wake up up two. Yeah. Oh, watch out. Be so careful. Nice flawless block. Wouldn't that have been a punish? Oh, my God. He had a confirm it's a fatal blow, but he didn't do it. Oh, and, that and there the it game. is. Combat killer taking it. Going up two to one on Biohazard. Unbelievable. Caboose. I don't know, man. These sets got to stop being so close. Otherwise, like, I might have to stop commentating. It's not good for my heart. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, I hear you. Oh, I hear you. All right. <laughs> I hear you.
Oh yeah, I, I hear you all right. Let's see what's gonna happen, man. Is Biohazard gonna stick with the Kano, or is he gonna make a character sit uh, character switch? Oh, I hear you. <laughs> <Kano. laughs> Fuji. Sticking with the Kano, Bio, putting everything on the line here. Is Combat Killer gonna be able to close this out, or will Biohazard shock the world? <laughs> I hear you. You hear that? What? You, I need to. I need to open your ears and listen closely. He's I'm coming. Listening, listening. He's coming. Fart. Who is? Listen, listen. I'm your worst nightmare. Oh my god! Mr. Stallone, back up! What are you eating onions tonight? You fucking stink breast. Get the fuck. Get out of here, man! Oh, he got him with the grab. This is gonna be good. He's gonna toss him to the right side of the screen and the wake up buttons from Biohazard and then down to crushing blow! Nice blows block. Oh, nothing comes of it though. And now match point for combat in a scenario to head into grand finals on the winner's side. Very good counter. Oh my god. I feel like Bio's getting very patient in this set, and he should honestly just go eight. He should go crazy. He should unleash the Kano Fury. This combat killer just having his way with things here. Oh my god, good block on the overhead. Both of them are gonna trade hits there. The command grab. Whoa! If he would've got a full conversion off of that jump three, bro, I would've lost my shit. Nice flawless block on the projectile. Flawless block again. 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 Not that time. Dude, what is going on here? I'm really not sure. This is too much. It's too much for me to handle. Oh my god. He goes for the drill. That is gonna oh, do it! He got he the hit to confirm. The fatal blow. He got the hit confirm. We're going to a final round. Biohazard could potentially send this to a game five. I hope he does, bro. I got my fingers crossed. Yo, he's sharpening that blade. Oh my god. He's backing up here. He's gonna go with the dive oh, kick. He's gonna open him up. He's gonna put the drill right into him. This is crazy right now. Biohazard in the corner. He's got his back. The, everything is against him. But he's fighting his way out of there. The crushing blow from Combat Killer. Good block. Nice. Gets That's the punish. punish. Amplification on the command grab for the extra damage. Gotta get the cross up. Gets the forward four. Oh my god. Wow. Combat killer went to push a button and he got punished for it, man. This is getting too down to the wire. Biohazard about a combo away from tying things up here and sending us to a final game. Oh my god. The grab tech. Hit the air cannon ball. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he was looking for the 2-4, but it whipped and the punish from combat will end it off the fatal blow. And that's gonna be the set. Combat sends Biohazard into losers and will move on to the grand finals on the winner's side. And he's gonna hit him with the friendship. Look at this. Combat killer. Gonna fly his kite. How nice. Friendship. friendship. How cute is that, bro? That's just adorable. That might be, uh, it might be one of the best ones. And now he's just now, having he's just having a now ball. you're pushing it now you're pushing it <laughs> that's not one of the best ones that's he's actually one of the worst ball. ones what the hell i'm sorry i'm sorry i got a little out of control the hell out of here <laughs> all right well guys combat is going to be solidifying his spot in the winter side grand final i don't know about you caboose but you got a player like combat in the winter side of the grand finals bro 
yeah. if I'm, you know, in the loser side looking at that, that's fucked up. That's a tough one to deal with right there. Yeah. That sense that's a problem. Just intimidates me, you know? Yeah, it's pretty scary, but bottom. I mean, we still got some killers in the pools. Uh, I mean, in the mm -hmm. bracket. Let's take a look here. If you see, we got Kerbalicious getting ready to go up against Pulse. We got Combat sitting in the grand finals. Bio sitting in the losers final. Like, these three names alone, man. I think they can all give Combat a run for his money. Especially if they channel their inner uh, Totinsky in that winner's side grand finals. <laughs> they can possibly take him down with a bracket reset. Yep. But yeah, guys. It's, as, certainly, it's not impossible. It's not. It's definitely not. But as always, we want to give a huge shout out to the team over at Console Gaming League for sponsoring this tournament with a massive prize pool. We want to give a huge shout out to everyone in the chat. All 1,500 plus of you. Woo! Absolute insanity. You know, the support for the Champions of the Realm series has been unreal. It's definitely, um, it's, it's great. You know, it's great feedback for me and Caboose. Mm -hmm. And we just got a lot in store for you guys. So we just hope you keep on enjoying and keep on supporting. And we love you. We love you all. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to everybody who's tuning in. Thank you to everybody who's donated to the match arena. To everybody who's enjoyed Champions of the Realms. Whether it's here on uh, Destroyer's Twitch channel. Whether it's over on my Twitch channel. Whether it's on Destroyer's YouTube. All of you guys and all the support that you've shown for this tournament has been really awesome. And we really appreciate it. We made this tournament as members of the community for the community. And seven weeks in, all the hype sets, all the, the funny moments, all the you don't impress me's has been a lot of fun. And well, we got one more week to go still. And then we got the top eight finale. So a yes. lot more Champions of the Realm action coming your way throughout this month. And keep an eye out. Yes. Keep an eye out. We'll keep, have more to talk about soon. Keep an eye out. But we got some crazy matches coming up, but we're going to go to a quick break because I got to take a shit. Anyways, guys, we'll be right back with more Champions of the Realms after this shit. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Champions of the Realms Week 7. We've seen some insanity take place today. This has definitely been one of the hypest weeks of the tournament so far, and it's not even over yet. No, we got no. more hype coming your way. Our next match coming up, I believe, Destroyer, we are doing the loser semifinals between Kerbalicious and Pulse, the winner of which will face off against Biohazard in the loser's finals, the winner of which will then try to face off against Combat in the grand finals, who's sitting pretty on that winner's side. How are you feeling about the matches we've seen so far, Destroyer? Dude, I think they've been awesome, man. Like you said a moment ago, man, this Week 7 Top 8 and Week 7 pools in general just had yep. some of the best highlights, you know, in the Champions of the Realm series by far. And, you know, coming into this match here, Kerbalicious versus Pulse, this is going to be another canon matchup. We've seen Pulse, mm -hmm. you know, perform a crazy reverse 3-0. And now he's going to be going up against a, a tournament veteran has been playing since Mortal Kombat 9 competitively, uh, competitively in the Mortal Kombat 11 in Mortal Kombat games in general. And, you mm -hmm. know, he, he he's the champion of the Col of Aquaman's Coliseum. So it's going to be awesome to see if Pulse is going to be able to take out Kerbalicious here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but both of these guys today have performed a reverse 3-0. Yes, you're right about that. So Ker Kerbalicious and Pulse both yeah. performed it, man. These guys are on fire yeah. today. And now they're going to be matched up against cool. each other. And I think they are playing for third place. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah so with, the third place. winner and, uh, of this is guaranteeing themselves 25 bucks. Yeah, and, uh, and another huge thing, of course, as well, this is that loser side. So, you know, you're trying to you're trying to get that guaranteed third, but you're also trying to keep your tournament life alive. Or you're trying just trying to keep yourself alive in this tournament so that you can try and qualify. Because, yeah, getting some money is okay. Getting some money is good. How much this but you want to qualify for the finale. You want to get a piece of that top eight finale prize. I'm taking it off. Yeah, and I think the entire top eight will be getting paid. So, you know, getting in there is going to be a, an achievement on its own. Right. And shout out to yeah. Salted Vina for the gifted subs, man. Much love. Truly appreciate that. As we get in to the loser semifinals, 
Pulse going with the Aaron Black. I mean, this Aaron Black Locked has been doing damage today, bro. No. It failed on the throw. He goes for another one. Is he going to go for the crush? No, he won't spend it. I'm surprised. Very good oh, stuff here. Oh, Nomad Dash and stuff. And that'll be the first round going to Paul. Very good stuff, man. Paul's just kind of steamrolling that match. Let's see if Kerbalish is going to be able to change. Oh my god, that trap almost caught him. That could have been a bad oh, scenario no. for Kerbalicious. But he's still in this. What an anti air from Pauls. Confirming into the rifle, pouring the acid on top of his head. I mean, I think Cabal, uh, Cabal suffered enough burns, bro. Wow, what a whiff punish to get that crushing blow. Beautiful stuff there from Paul. Now getting another crushing blow there. This is gonna hurt a lot. And in the corner, back to Zeus. The rifle's out. There was almost nothing that Kerbo could have done. And that's game number one. Very quickly going to Paul. Man, super clean stuff. We're seeing here from Pulse as he brings out Aaron Black, the Outworlds, Outworlds Outlaw, man. This is sick as hell. He's coming here with no mercy, too. He's coming to collect these bounties. The only thing is I wish we got a little more story from Aaron Black, you know? Oh, all you get is the little character endings. Deal with it. It's just like, well, what does he do? Well, he's a cowboy in Mortal Kombat. And it's like, okay, but what else? And it's like, well, he's a cowboy in Mortal Kombat. And it's like, oh, okay. That's right. And he's trying to collect them bounties. Right, that's all you need to know. If you want to know more about Aaron Black, play uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. That's, oh, that's okay. a story. Arthur Morgan? Yeah. I didn't know. Very good stuff here. Pulls out the rifle, trying to get some damage done. Puts out the acid, man. That acid is such a problem. It makes you get uh, kind of antsy in the matchup. But a player is patient as Kerbalicious, you know. He is not phased by those uh, the acid. Sometimes you got to have that. Oh, nicely done. He goes for the amplification, though. So no crushing blow. Oh, these staggers are looking super clean. He's gonna bust them shots. Pulse is like a couple touches away from taking this round. Wait, Kerbal gets out of there. Uh oh. Uh -oh. A lot of damage there. Wow. Oh, nicely done there. Pulse staying alive. Making sure we didn't see any crazy comeback scenario. Takes the round again. The wake up back tunes, bro. What a savage. Oh, he said it. Got the spin. No way. No way. Good flawless block from Pulse. He's setting up here. Oh my god, look at the damage. Look at the damage for one throw. We're going to be seeing 20%. Constantly, he constantly has Another the acid one. on the ground, bro. This Another guy's getting melted. That was forty percent off of two throws, and the autocorrect on that string was just phenomenal, right there. Oh my god, oh. could have been bad. The short hop. Good blocks on the back twos. Carbolish is playing super patient here. Can he close this out? Oh! And that'll be it. Pulse up 2-0. Now listen. What a storyline destroyer. It's now been set up. Pulse has completed a reverse 3 0. Kerbo has reversed or has done reverse 3 0 earlier. Now Kerbo, once again, down 2-0 in a set. Could we see him make the comeback? Twice in one top eight. Well, if he makes a reverse 3 0 against Pulse. He is going to be crowned the reverse 3 0 king. Without a doubt. This is going to be very interesting to watch here. I mean, a player like Pulse, man, he, he gets in a position like this. It's going to be hard to nudge him out of there. 
Yep. Especially with the Aaron Black. I feel Aaron Black is a character that is super adaptive to all types of situations. So Kerbalicious is going to have to work just a little extra harder than usual if he's going to want to make this reverse 3-0 happen. It's possible. It's no definitely doubt. doable. For sure. Let's see if he can pull it off. Ooh. Nice flawless block off the jump and immediately getting things started. Pulse. Very good launcher. He's going to be dishing out a lot of damage early on here. Going off of both defensive bars early on. Oh, shit. Is that acid again? Projectile lands. He's gonna get okay. the Nomad Dash. He has a chance to end the round here, I believe. Yes, indeed. Okay. Herbalicious. Bro, this Wait is Wait a it. second. This might be the beginning. I don't know how the hell Kerbo decides to just start cranking up the volume once he's down 2-0 in this set, but it looks like we're, we're, we're seeing it in the works for a second time around, Caboose. I know I might be talking a little too early, but holy shit, it's Kerbalicious popping off right now. Wow! The jumping on the rifle pullout. Kerbalicious, people! A flawless round right now. Escape fell off the throw. Trying to end this game with a flawless. Keeps himself safe. The neutral duck off the throw, and he will get a flawless to end the game. No. Oh, I thought he was going for Is the. He? I thought he was going for the mercy. He's doing a wow. friendship. Wow. He's down two one, and he's going for a friendship. Damn. Kerbo sending a message. Kerbo sending a message. He's not just playing the game of trying to win. He's trying to play the mental game. I don't know, man. This is getting way too scary for me right now. If you're Pulse, I know you're sitting there right now thinking to yourself, like, fuck, why not let him get that first game? So that's all Kerbalicious needs. You know, he needs that drop of blood. This is the same thing we were talking about the moment he got that first game. The first time he did that reverse 3-0, you know, was he, if Kerbal smells blood, he's going to chase it. It's like a shark in the deep blue with a bunch of dead bodies dumped into it. I think, you know, the cool thing, too, about Kerbo winning that is it continues the trend. We have not had a single 3-0 in this top eight yet. Oh, that's that's nice. I like that type of shit. Everybody's been gaming tonight. Can I get a wall of uh, got the spins, your hook, too slow to try to, you know, give some power to Kerbalicious? Maybe get this game to a 2-2 tie situation? Can I get a, a, a row of Pipo Shibidens, and shoot and Pipo Pipo Shibidens, please? <laughs> oh no. Very nice. We had a little connection thing. I don't know if you saw that. What happened? Actually, it might it might have been for me. For me Too only. slow! I think my internet Too almost slow. fucked up. Very nice. Forward four. We're gonna put him down. Kerbalicious, bro, is going out of control! To boost! Who's gonna stop this man right now? This this is bad. This is bad. Pulse has got to got to flip the switch now and stop this. This bad before news it goes the to game five. I'm just I'm just in shock right now what I'm witnessing here, bro. Oh wait a minute! Oh. Into the fatal blow. I, I don't. I don't think he's oh, dead. I don't think he's dead just yet. He, he's putting all his eggs in this basket. I think he's dead. No, no, no. He's not dead. He's not dead. No, he's not dead. He's not even close to dead. This is a huge risk from Pulse, especially with no defensive meter. What? Whoa! What? Turbo just did that for Magic Pixel. Okay, we're gaming. Yeah. 
This is seriously too much right now, man. He hits it with a rod, no mad dash, or punish, bro. This savagery for, from Kerbalicious right now. Oh, big crushing blow. I didn't even know there was an escape fail earlier. I must have missed it. Another crush this time coming from Kerbo. He's gonna get the conversion. All that damage. 43% almost. So much damage on the table here. He's, He's gonna stomp the yard. Paul still fighting back. Not giving up just yet. Very good stuff. Burning his head. He's like, Ay, mi madre, eso, eso quema, coño. No way, bro. Armor Breaker He's dead. and Kerbalicious is going to tie this up. We're going to another game five. And this time, Kerbo's going to use a fatality. He's playing the mental game destroyer. He's getting in Pulse's head. Fatality. I can't believe what's going on right now. I really can't. I'm going in the corner of my room. I'm gonna curl up in a fetal position and I'm gonna rock back and forth and I'm gonna say, not like this, <laughs> not like this, <laughs> no, 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 not like this, not like this, no, no. I'm gonna get in the corner, I'm gonna go, champions of the round, champions of the round. Oh shit, you're, you're hypnotized already. Champions yeah, you, of the round. Your boost is hypnotized already. Champions of the round. Oh no, nah, you know what? I Come on. If you guys just saw Caboose right now, he's seriously anamorphing into a dolphin. <laughs> Tank garage bunker. All right, man. All right, into a calm, calm down with the two man, slows. Man. You guys gotta relax man, man, with the two slows and the cabalans because you guys are giving too much power to Kerbalicious right now. We're gonna need man, this. Man, into a dolphin. He's anamorphing into a dolphin, bro. There's a fin coming out of the top of his forehead. What the fuck is going on right now? Somebody help Caboose. Anamorphing. Oh, very nice. He's going to start off the match with a crab. Nice punish there off the raw nomad dash. Oh, big crush. Gonna be quite a bit of damage there. Oh, wow. not like this. He's gonna burn his head off, man. That's so much damage on the table. He wakes up three and the jump kick to sit his ass down. Pulse match point. Round two, fight. Oh my God, dude. I'm literally tensed up right now. This is so crazy. Four, and he's gonna punish the wake up. This is bad news for Kerbalicious. Ooh, he gets okay. out of there. It's an opportunity. All this blocks that string takes no chip damage because of it. What a down two. He's gonna catch him with a one, one, one punish again. Pulse doesn't have access to the breakaway just yet. Kerbalish is getting as much damage as he can here. What a jump three. Oh no. He's gonna put the acid on his head. These two are about one combo away and chip damage to finishing this out. He should have went for both meters. Oh no, he didn't have both meters. Good blocks. Whoa. Kerbo tying it up. Final game. Final round. What is gonna happen? Who's gonna My take this? Goodness. My goodness. Nice. Pulse gonna get two amplifications there off that rifle hit. He's also got no ammo in that rifle. Take a top of the amp right here. Projectile. 4 2 2. Into the Nomad Dash. Armor Breaker. 30%. This is as close as it can be right now. Paul swinging at him with the back tunes, trying to open him up here. But Kerbalich is gonna get him oh with no. the one, one ones. He has no breakaway. Kabusi has to hold all this damage into the reset. Into the reset. Holy shit. Kerbalich. Pop it off. A few hits away from completing another reverse 3 0. Wait. Oh, no. no. Is this crushing oh, blow? Is this crushing blow? No, no, no. He didn't have it. Wait, 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 wait. 
He doesn't activate the Fatal Blow in time to punish Kerbalicious with the reverse 3 0 once again. I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh my god. How does this happen, dude? What the hell is Kerbo on? To, to, dude, everything was against Kerbo right there. And he just reversed 3 old Pulse to get into the loser's final. Where he's going to be facing off against Biohazard. I think I'm going to say it, Destroyer. Say it. I think this has been the hypest week of Champions of the Realms. I mean... Not a single 3-0. Reverse 3-0s. Game 5s. Crazy comebacks. Insane combos. It's been crazy. High competition in co competitors like Combat, Biohazard, Kerbalicious. It's been crazy, it's but... I think I think you might have forgot about week six. It's a tough it's a tough statement you made there, but this is definitely know, definitely up there with the hypest weeks of Champions of the Realms. We're about to see what goes down here, man. We got Kerbalicious getting ready to face off against Bio, and Bio yep. has been doing some crazy shit this tournament this week specifically. You know, to yep. stay alive, to stay in that in that bracket, and this is it. I think this is going to be the ultimate competition he has right now is to be going yep. up against biohazard in this losers final the winner yep. of this is going to be advancing to face off against combat killer who's sitting in the grand finals of the winner side this guy is looking like xerxes from 300 oh yeah that's the guy that's the guy that's the guy that's the one that's yeah, him man. Let's see Biohazard rocking the Baraka. Kerbo sticking, of course, with the Cabal. He's still going to be Cabalin. Too slow. Cabalin. Too Cabalin. 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 Too slow. Too slow. Hey, I, I, we got to chill out with the two slows and the Cabalins because honestly, what? I think we're fueling Kerbo a little too much. We're making it unfair. <laughs> we're making it unfair for the matches. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy's coming in max level 9,000. Hey. The whole fucking chat acting like Cabal Sacks. You just call them Cabal Sacks? No. I heard you. What are you talking about? Oh man, he's gonna open him up early on. Kerbalicious, I think he's heated up after that first game with Pulse, you know? Like, going back to back games here, he's fired up, bro. We try to hit him with the gas nice. blast. Whoa, the neutral duck straight into oh. the armor breaker. Into the armor breaker. Deluxe damage, damage right there. That was extra deluxe damage. He's going with the forward 2-1. Bio going to get a little conversion there, but Kerbo with the immediate breakaway. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is huge. He's, He's going to go into the fatal He's blow. He's yep. out, bro. Yep. He wants that big boy damage here. Very good stuff. Biohazard taking round number one in the loser's final for Champions of the Realm Week 7 Top 8. Oh, he jumps out of there. The wake up. Oh, oh nice. Hazard explosive. Wow. What a combo. That was huge. Listen, at this point, bro. Another armor breaker. At this point, I never see anybody against Kerbo like at an advantage because this guy is he's capable of making the reverse 3 0s pretty frequent. Twice. Twice in the same top eight he's done it. That's ridiculous. Biohazard though. He's in trouble here. The forward four spam is gonna close it out for Kerbo. Final round. Fight. Nice. Ooh. Trying to catch him slipping. What an anti-air from Biohazard. Gonna get a beautiful confirmation. 
Nice punish, man. He is so quick oh, with the thoughts. Jump. He's gonna roll out of there. Kerbo trying to chase him down here. Wow! Huge crushing blow for Kerbalicious. Gonna oh get all the damage into the reset. 42% into a reset. A throw. And that'll be game number one going to Kerbo. Damn. What a way to start things off here, man. Kerbalicious really going crazy right now. You know, this guy is two games away from getting into that grand finals where he might be facing off against combat. It's going to be interesting if he can get up to that position, man. I know I'm talking a little too early, but shit, this is crazy. Combat in the chat. Know, yeah. He said, these motherfuckers don't block. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw he's that. I, I, I love the fact that he's watching this, analyzing his opponents. You know, he's getting ready for that grand finals. Yeah, that stuff is key. That's what makes it even more dangerous for these two players. Absolutely. You gotta, you gotta review the tapes. You know, if you want to be on that LeBron mentality, yeah, you got to be reviewing those tapes, watching over every move that your opponents are making and being ready. Oh yeah. Going in combat, you know, like we said, he's sitting pretty on that winner side. He's sitting pretty on that winner side in the grand finals. So right now, he's just got to watch the set, keep an eye out on both these competitors, right? Oh yeah. He's trying to put that pressure down. The anti-air from Biohazard. Very clean stuff. No matter what the situation, what the outcome is, he's going to be ready to hit those anti-airs. Oh my god, the call out on the armor breaker. Kerbo fighting back, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Tarantula Baraka. Oh, a punish there on the cross-up. Too slow. Dude! Holy smokes. You can't Holy smokes. I, man, Biohazard's trying to play patient. He's trying to keep his options, you know, limited. Doesn't want to get punished, but Kerbalicious is just as great as a player as Bio. He's finding these openings. What a psychopath! The Raw Nomad Dash gonna catch Bio slipping. Down one. Nice throw. Turbo does have fatal blow. Oh, Beautiful Ron block. Dash. That was really good stuff there, man. Nicely done. Biohazard. He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kerbalicious. Not letting him make... Oh, mm. my God. The forward four to stop the Nomad Dash. That was brutal. We got a hell of a back and forth here. Oh, the end of that 1-1-1 one, one, one string will land. Turbo now has the corner into the restand. Flawless block for Bio. Over 2-1-2. Two, two. Try to go for it again. It gets stuck. The throw connects. Turbo once again with the corner control. Oh, but Bio rolls out of there. Oh, oh my god. Blow. He's going to meet him right at the end yeah, of the game. This is so much I think this damage. Is it. Oh that my is it. god. You're gonna rip the Tarantula Baraka into two pieces. What a scene. Kerbalicious going up 2-0 on Biohazard, bro. One game away from getting into that grand finals to face off against combat. You think at this moment Bio needs to uh pull out a noise bit of Tucker? A noise bit of he he noise bit have to. Noise bit of Tucker. A noise bit of Tucker. I don't a know noise what else his options could potentially be a here. Noise I mean, he's one with the well, actually, he has one with the Baraka in this set specifically. But yeah, there it is. The Kano pick is here. Imagine if Bio now reverse three O's. Be reverse three O's. We've been in this position a lot today. We've been in this position a lot today, where an opponent is down 2-0. You cannot count them up. Especially if it were the, if it were the other way around, obviously we have to be thinking the same for Kerbo. But you look at Bio, a tournament veteran, an NRS veteran. He is somebody who is definitely capable of turning this set around. So let's see if they're going to be able to make it happen. But to start off Game Three, 
Kerbalicious is going to get some good hits in and a nice 27% combo. Trading on the down ones. Whoa! Biohacker is not again. This is exactly what Kerbo wants. He wants to steamroll through this final game, get into that grand finals feeling nice and sweaty. Hold on. Biohazard. Gonna open him up with the overhead. The jump in. This is dangerous game. He's playing. Oh my god. Oh, he gets a counter. Whoa, what a okay. one punish. Okay. We're all just about tied up. Oh, but that's gonna be the round. Guaranteed. Not much you can do about it. Biohazard tried to break away, but the armor breaker Kerbo was ready. Match point now for Kerbalicious. Wow, wow Kano Ball. Kano Ball. That was savagery. I mean, he's trying to scoop down to Kerbo's level with the Raw Nomad dashes, you know? I mean, you can't beat him. Join him. Good throw. Kerbalicious on match point with a 2 0 lead. Biohazard is in big trouble here. Good down two. two. Oh, just to point out, this is a $50 money match as well. Second place is getting $50. Right. The loser of this still gets third place and a nice $25, but obviously these competitors, they want to get into that finale. Man, this ain't looking too pretty. Oh, he's done. Oh, no. I think with the armor breaker, wait. Oh, he neutral ducks the string. And that's the first 3-0 we've had of this entire tournament. And not an easy one. It was not an easy one for Kerbo. But Kerbo takes it and is going to be heading to Grand Finals to face off against Combat. Unbelievable, man. We have yeah. been witnessing some of the craziest shit for week number seven, top eight. And the pools play that, that, that happened on Wednesday. But again, guys, please... Make sure you guys are following me and Caboose on the social medias to stay updated with all the latest news on Champions of the Realms. Make sure you guys check out Console Gaming League. I want to see right now a huge wall in the chat, exclamation point CGL, right now, because they are the ones that basically, you know, lit the fire for this tournament. Also, exactly. I want to give a huge shout out to Mary Luna. She is the ultimate admin of the champions of the realm the the bracket runner she's the one to make sure everything is moving smoothly so we get a nice timely mannered tournament so shout outs to all mm -hmm. of them and we're getting into the grand finals caboose where we're going to be having combat going up against kerbalicious mm -hmm. yep should be a very intense one kerbalicious on the loser side of that grand finals so he's going to need to get a he's going to need to get a three three wins i can speak i promise he didn't need to get three wins to reset the bracket and then another three in order to take his spot as the seventh qualifier. Whereas for combat, all they need is just those three wins. So let's see what's going to happen. And we got one more set to go for week seven, the second to last week of Champions of the Realm. And listen, I feel kind of bad putting Kerbo through the gauntlet, but it, it's kind of the way the tournament played out, you know? Yep. Yep. Kerbalicious is just steamrolling right now. He is staying yep. alive and he even tweeted it out. He said, um, I forgot what the hell he tweeted out, but it was something along the lines that he was going to try to make this run back and, and qualify for the finale. So let's see if he's going to be able to, you know, keep that tweet vitalized and, you know, he's going to be able to go toe to toe with Combat Killer, who is at a huge advantage. Coming into the winner side, grand finals winner side. He's got a fat cushion underneath himself right now. Combat Killer is going to be chilling. He has got a lot of room to work with. You know, if he wants yep. to go ahead, dabble with, with some character he wants to show off with or something, he definitely can. But I would advise going full try-hard sweat mode because, you know, this is for a spot into the finale. And if you lose this right here, bro, you only got one more chance, which is going to be week eight going on in Caboose's channel next Wednesday. And that, that's the only chance you're going to get to get into the $3,000 finale. You yep. know, that's that's rough. It'll be your last chance. That's okay. rough. Which, by the way, sign up. Sign up! Exclamation point. Sign up as we get ready for this match here. Kerbalicious versus Combat. Combat going with Baraka, bro. Barocus. What? Barocus. This should be good. Against Cable. Cable and Barocus. Grand Finals. Champions of the Realms.
week seven. You guys hyped? Press one in the chat if you think Kerbalicious will take it. Press two if you think it's combat. Here we go. I'm terrified right now. Because Combat Killer, he can play any character and he's going to make this shit look like a problem. I like the patience. Herbalicious is just zoning him out. He's taking advantage of this Baraka pick. He knows Baraka needs to get in to deal that damage. So, you know, why be in his face when you could just be far back and just zone him out? Combat Killer, though, you know, Baraka just needs to get that one good touch and that'll be everything shifting, uh, shifting tides. Man, the zoning from Kerbo is so savage. He puts the flag out. Is he gonna go for some trades? Oh, gets caught by the air projectile. Oh my God, this is what this is what Kerbo needed to avoid. Got the down two. That's good damage right now for combat. Who looked for the instant air? Got punished because of it. They're delicious now. Twenty-eight percent. He's gonna hit him with the gas the blast. blast. Whoa! Oh. What a punish! This is it. He's not gonna go for Fatal Blow. I don't think he needs to. Beautiful stuff. Amplifies it just in case combat gets the first round. Round two, fight. I like the patience from these two players. He gets the jump There's in the one, air. knocking him out of the air. Combat, combat killer's out of his mind, dude. Oh man. Dropped the combo. Kerbo had no breaker there, so that was very unfortunate. Whoa, what a oh, no. When in doubt. He is cashing out on some big boy damage here. He went for the 1-1 stagger straight into a throw. Combat killer is getting mixed up here. The back 1-2. The flawless block. No! Not like this! He's gonna go into the fatal blow. Well, why didn't he? That could have been the game. Yeah. That could have been the game right there. Oh. Big opportunity and that'll be it. That'll be it. Is he gonna go for the brutal? No. Oh, no brutal. No brutal. Game number one goes to combat two games away from qualifying for the top eight finale. Dude, I love how combat had like a little hiatus from Mortal Kombat 11 and he comes back into the champs of the realm week seven looking like the final boss. Yeah, seriously. That is that could, you described it perfectly right there, man. It's insane. Herbalicious right now, man, after this crazy work he had to apply to get into this position, the loser side of the grand final. It'd be a shame to see Combat Killer just steamroll him. Let's see if Kerbo is gonna wake up here. This is nuts. This is huge. Huge couple of games coming up. Kerbo definitely, he needs to wake up now. He cannot let Combat go up 2-0. I know Kerbo's been the reverse 3-0 master for this tournament, but going down 2-0 against Combat is a very scary position to be in. All right, good anti here. Nice. This is the type that of, was clean. Yeah, this is the type of stuff Kerbalicious needs to stay in this set. Possibly reverse this grand finals. Okay, Beautiful. all right, Kerbo. And it's so scary going up against a Baraka player, especially one on, on Combat Killer's level, because just one touch is all Baraka needs to make your day a living nightmare. I'm your worst nightmare. Yeah, but I want you hit. Nice oh jump my God. in there look at his, combat. Look at his life bar. Is he going to break away? He's going to break away, but this is when Baraka sets you up. Once he sees you meterless, you got to run for your life. Kerbalicious, really he's backing up here. Oh, my God. Combat killer is going to open him oh up. No. This is so bad. Oh, no. He's not going to go for the fatal blow. Instead, he's going to go for the chop chop. A lot of fucking damage. 40%. Combat killer. He's going full throttle here. I'd have to oh. imagine combat. Oh, Tossing his own say. buddy. I thought he was looking for any kind of movement and just that raw projectile will do it. Combat up around. Round two, fight. 
Oh, what? He did the empty jump in. I don't know what exactly he was looking for there, but I, I think he probably could have got a punish there. If he was a, a bit quicker. The breakaway from combat. We're going to be getting an escape fail from Kerbalicious side. If he gets another back throw, that's going to be a lot of damage. Okay, Kerbo. Getting good hits in now. Good stuff. Has the life lead by quite a bit. Keeping himself safe. Continuing to do so. Wow. Gets anti here. Oh, he called it out. Nice. Downer. He called that out, man. Oh, he dropped the combo, though. Get it a jail free card there for Kerbo. He's got to be so careful. Nice flawless block. Oh, he's dead. Kerbo Lich is going to take the round. It, it, no, oh, not yet. There it is. Okay, there it is. but the forward four will do it. And he still has, Kerbo. That, he still has that crushing blow, too. Oh, that's right. Fine. I was going to say, why didn't he use it? That's actually really dangerous that he didn't use it there. Oh, that was yeah. a risk. Nice 4-4 four, four immediately into the chop chop. We're making a Caesar salad. <laughs> Keeping it safe with the gas blast meter burn. Oh it's my god. Air. Maniac! No mad He's dad. a maniac! Oh, the standing one right in his face. Combat killer fighting back here. The counter from Kerbalicious is going to put him in the corner. How much damage are we looking at? 33%. Oh! Nice. He still has a crushing blow loaded. This is what's scary right now. Is that crushing blow still being available oh for God, combat? Is a demon. But it's going to be the win for Kerbalicious. Kerbalicious is nuts. He is really nuts, and he's going to shut down the opportunity or the, the potential of going down 2-0 in this set. Ties it up now, 1-1. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing right now. If Kerbalicious manages to take this set and, you know, reverse it and put both of them on the loser side, I'm going to lose my shit. You're going to go to the loser side and lose your shit? Yeah, I'm going to go to the loser side, and I'm going to go back to the bathroom. When I look in the toilet, my shit's going to be missing. Come on. What? What's wrong with you? You just you just took that even more literally than I did. What's the matter with you, huh? The hourglass. What did you just say to me? Sylvester, tell this guy what you wanted to tell him all day. I know exactly what you're saying, Sylvester, but I don't think... Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, there might be some kids watching, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. It is an M-rated game. All right, we'll see you. We'll see you next month, buddy. Kick him out, Destroyer. It's Grand Finals. He's out of his mind. Jesus Christ. So I'm trying to commentate and he keeps tugging on my leg. Oh God. Oh my God, the restand. He's going to get him with the crushing blow. This is big boy damage here. Kerbalish is really making something happen. Oh my God. Bro, do you know what this means? He's going to go up the game number one, round number one. Round two. In match number three, this is a lot of momentum shifting to Kerbalish's side here. Okay. The only thing that's still dangerous here in terms of combat is that even if he goes down 2-1 in this set, he's got a Johnny that we've seen. You know, he's, he's got a lot of the characters that he can still pull out that could be very, very tough to face off against. So we'll see what goes down in this set because this Baraka, he's still playing extremely well with this Baraka. But I'd imagine if his back's against the corner, he would want to switch to Johnny. We'll see. We will see indeed. I mean, he's kind of flipping him like a pancake here. He's got him in the corner. <laughs> Oh, nice up to wake, wake up. up too. That's something you rarely see, but it's going to be successful for Kerbalicious. Oh, oh, wow. He's still alive. Hold no on. Amplification. Oh, you maybe didn't think the round was going to end without the amplification. Oh, wait a minute. And the wake up down one. Nicely done. The wake up down one from Combat Killer going to shut down everything right there. I think Baraka wants Cookie. You want Cookie Monster Baraka? I can bring her. 
Oh, the walk forward from Kerbalicious. What's it gonna be? The Raw Nomad Dash. What a psychopath. Combat Killer gonna take full advantage of that moment. Oh, He's man. gonna make him pay the price. Oh, yeah. that could have hurt a lot oh, yeah. more break if he away. didn't have his breakaway right at break the end. Away. He's gotta break away. That could have hurt so much. He would have been leaking for the rest of the month. Oh, gets pop at the cross up. Delicious now. Hey, Foxy breaker. Grandpa in the chat. Shout outs to Foxy and everybody Yo. coming through hanging out. Subscribe to his only grabs. Only grabs or only fans? Only stomps. Oh, okay, okay. He's gonna jump in the air. What's gonna happen here? Combat killer. Gonna clip him nice. with the projectile. Whoa, what a short hop! Oh, Three seconds left on the clock. Kerbal's gotta oh. find something. Get the amplified air projectile. Down one, and that's gonna be the game. Combat sending us, or no, sorry, combat going up 2 1 now. Combat going up 2 1, man. He's doing it for the Tarkatans right now. He is one game away from securing a spot into the finale that will be going down October 30th on the official Console Gaming League's channel. 6 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. The top bait is holy shit! Fucking Bookworm just dropped a nuke oh in the chat. God. Bookworm's nuts. I've seen him in my chat as well. He is, he is an awesome, awesome person. Well, I gotta say right now, Bookworm, you, my friend, have huge cojones, and I salute you. All right, all right. Don't get too full of yourself now. What are you doing? What are you doing over there, Bookworm? No, 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 put that down. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. This is big. Kerbalicious. Back against the wall. Needs to send it to a game five and try to reset this bracket. Otherwise, Combat Killer will be our seventh qualifier for the Champions of the Realm finale. Man, who would have thought we'd be seeing a Baraka and a Cabal for the Grand Finals of Week 7? You gotta love to see it, to be honest. Look at this damage he's applying here, man. He's just chopping him up. Kerbalicious is in big trouble. That's Combat Killer goes up to match point. I'm fucking terrified. Round two, fight. Good grab. Gonna to toss him in the right. No, he didn't. He didn't throw him in the other side. Sorry, that was the wrong side. Man, Kerbo needs to activate Turbo. Turbo time, if he wants to make this comeback. And Turbo time is what he's gonna activate. Oh, nice. Good whip punish there for Kerbo. He needs every hit he can get. Has the corner advantage. Oh my Good god. Throw. It tosses out of the corner, but I think he was looking for the escape fail, and that's why. Got the cross up though. 2 2. two. Wow. And there we go. He's Herbo got a round. alive here. It's exactly what he needs, man. He needs some breathing room. Okay, the empty short hop into a dash up grab. I respect it. You got to keep your opponent on your toes. Wait, meter burns it. He keeps down too. Yeah, that's damage over time for combat killer and oh, heal. Right. And healing him as well. That's right. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Turbo is gaming. Amplified projectile though. Combat wants to close this out. Still on that tournament point. It's cop of the down four. Bro, Portal Khan is running. I see him running from my window right now. Oh, another big throw. Lack of text here is adding up. Good wake up. Oh my god. Self save. Hold on. No. Oh, this oh, is hurt. He did go for fatal blow. Wait, that why didn't he go for fatal blow? That could have been a GG's. Carbo needs oh my to god. survive. He's tossing oh my all god. these uh, buzz sauce right now. He is staying alive here. Oh, and that's going to be Jeez. the game. Is that it? That's Wait, it. is that it? No, that's it. Hold on. That's Hold on. It. it might not be. It might not be Destroyer. That's not it. Oh, no, it's gonna be it. Combat is your seventh qualifier for Champions of the Realms.
You don't impress me. You don't impress. You don't. Oh, get the fuck out of here. What the hell is going on, man? You don't. You don't. You don't impress me. Jesus Christ. Destroy you, right? I just got attacked. My <laughs> god. <laughs> you fucking you fucking kidding me, bro? I think we're Holy we're gonna smoke. we're gonna have to up the security in the studio caboose. Combat takes it three to one. What a close out. You know, incredible stuff. Incredible stuff all around. This is an amazing week. But big shout outs to Combat. He took a little bit of a break from competing in Mortal Kombat 11. I remember he hit me up just a couple, like a day before the pools was going to go down for week seven. He was like, hey, you think, uh, you think I can get in there? We got him in. And then he just, he just took the whole thing. I, I'm, 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 honest, I'm honestly in shock, bro. He just steamrolled.